Hey, pre-notification gang. Coming along great, Rip. Yeah, I'll do the Battlefield beta tomorrow, I think, instead of today. Thanks the resub, Craven. Is the beta going to be an early or usual stream? It'll probably just be a usual stream. I've got a lot to do tomorrow. Why do you think everyone is so upset with the Twitch leaks? I'm really not sure. Uh, I'm making something about it, though, just to talk about it. I don't really know why it's been a huge deal about streamer income when all of it's been public. Like, forever. So... I figured it'd be worth at least talking about, so I'll post that tomorrow. Hold on, I don't know why that's still doing that. Let me log out of Nightbot and log back in. Try it now. Thanks the resub right side. Hmm. How do I fix that? Uh, hello? Hey. Did, did I do it? Hey, can you can you hear me? I can't find how to turn that Nightbot back on. Wait, Connor, can you hear me? Try it now. Thanks to the resub zero yeah. gravity. I'm trying to give you a fantastic intro. I just want to Prime explain Justin. to the people where you made your fortune because you are a top 500 Twitch streamer. <laughs> okay? Actually, no, that's not true. I'm, I'm 591. Yeah, but... Thanks for that. Bam, After RuneScape today? <laughs> yeah, well, all right. Yeah, then we're up there. If we factor in RuneScape. I think you're top 500. Yeah, yeah, no, we're in. We're in. <laughs> and I was talking about your years. You worked at Nintendo, where you really yeah. have to build the company from the ground up. Yeah, they took Connor none of my advice. Connor was employee five. That's where yeah. they are now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, Connor actually invented the Nintendo Wii. And then mm -hmm. after that, decided to quit. And then they decided to make the Wii U. The Wii U was the first console without Connor. Please resub Joshua and the Prime Licks Advanced. Yep. Um, I, I did suggest. The resub bra. Prime I did Hazel. suggest making a, a portable and console hybrid. Uh, <laughs> that was a note you left on your desk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on the so way my, out. My note. Of course, I heard about the leak. Excuse me. My note did say to um, increase output of games to more than just like a, Brian frag out and resub you know, like, like four a year. That sounds hard, Connor. That sounds yeah. like way tougher. But you know what'll help them do that is if they stole the ideas that we invest in today. Right. Thanks to Tier 1 Chrissy. Uh, Charlie is the also Prime in doorless. the call. I want to introduce our other guest. It was supposed to be Mark Cuban, but then Charlie said he'd do it, so I bumped Mark. <laughs> because ah. we needed, obviously, you know, I mean, no disrespect to Mark Cuban, but he's not quite on that level of investment ability. Right. He hasn't, he hasn't proven himself. Right, exactly. That's exactly what I want to say. He's, just a, he's, he's, he's a young gun. He could still get out there and make it happen, but he hasn't had the years that Charlie's had on YouTube to build the empire that he had. <laughs> also, side business, selling dildos in the millions. This is fucked up. I can't defend myself because I'm not in the call. Mod messages that are telling me probably why they can't pull him up. But Thanks I to Tier 1 Terry and the resub Edible and give some Klutzy and Prime Paul that and Kurtik. Give some doobie. Because then I can explain what's what the prime rules gym. are 
and we could go into our. We already have a pitcher ready to go. Here's some Aubriana. I don't see Charlie in here. Um. Okay, this is this is upsetting. I, I'm 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 in, I'm in here. Maybe he's still going live. He said he was going live because he. No, 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 no. Check your check your DMs. He say he was in here. No, I, I'm here. How do I join VC? Okay, he's joining. Someone uh, needs to get him in the stage, right? That's what he did for me. Yeah. Hope they accept the invite to the stage. Yeah, please do. Uh, but let's talk about your investment strategy, Connor. Okay, because you're you're notoriously um, critical of a lot of games. Yeah. W would you Would you agree with that? Yeah, I like good games and I don't like bad games. Right. It's just like some people will give a lot of a pass for a medium game and say it's a good game. Sure. And you are not one of those people. You're very clear. Okay, this is You're a, almost like the Simon why Cowell. Why is this working? If I had to guess. Yeah, I, I feel like I <laughs> I have a good call of like whether the game's good or not, even if like it's not something I'd enjoy. Like, I, and I think there's a lot of value in making something unique instead of just making something also good with a different skin on it. You know, like I, I think uniqueness is, is an important factor. I hope judges are hearing that. Connor's the one you're gonna have to impress. I'm pretty easy. He's a prime rhythm my... resub. Um, the, the problem is I'm really nice. Luger I mean, do you want me to like be mean? DB no, and record in casino. <laughs> okay. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. <laughs> Listen, we got 200 okay. people in here. A lot of them are probably dumb. You got to do the odds. Tier one chats, yeah. Um, we singled out at least five great submissions that will be actually pretty good looking games. And they even have little pictures that I can show on screen. How do I accept Discord uh, requests? I've never done this that, before. Some of them are going to be bad. Some of them are going to be I have also a video game on my own that I want to pitch to my co-judges in a second. Just see if you guys are interested. Oh, you know, cool. just, to, just to break the ice here. Does anyone know? But we got to get Charlie in the call. And he is the is some spag to you? <laughs> Charlie's having trouble with Discord? Okay. All right. No, just tell him the wait. Real hair. No, I mean it is my real hair. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've been dyeing it brown. Why? Why did you it's do a that, Alex? Uh, I wanted to be businesslike. I wanted people to know that I'm a serious. What, what makes you business? What makes Otaku. you businesslike? I'm sorry, Connor. What doesn't make me business? Polar bear. bear. I, I and don't. Glasses and this I don't jacket. I associate don't, anything that you're doing. If you were to see someone in a meeting chilling. with this, you would think this guy's someone I would want to shake hands with. You look like a dude doing like a shitty yakuza cosplay at E3. Okay, first of all, the yakuza. I have a lot of power. A lot of pull in Japan, one of the biggest gaming markets. Okay? I just mean the game. I right. mean, yeah, I know that. I worked for Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, you should know that, okay? So, the right off the bat, I'm, button. I'm dominating in two markets, America and Japan. Uh, Where's the hand wave I also button? I have a ninja hair if we need to switch to that. I mean, that's just <sighs> two sides of the coin. Hey, what do you think about our uh, this $300 million set that I Request spent a lot of money on? I think it looks really good. I think you, uh, yeah, no, I like Among Us in the back for sure. I got Miyamoto and Among Us. I figure if there was two things that represent it, I also love how I've never, I've never in, seen so this, like, this before really in my life. Really the right lamp out a little bit so you could put Miyamoto slightly behind it, but you didn't like fully commit to it, got so it. it was kind of like Thanks half so done. Cute. That's it almost, that's almost looks like it's inside the lamp. So a unique lamp from Sweden, Connor. There's no Photoshop involved. Oh, okay. I know. Oh, I see. I can see. Okay. You understand? It's a, it's curved that because it's more expensive. I'm yeah. here, boys. I'm in. What's up, Charlie? Yo. Boys. If you take a look at our set, Charlie, we're just discussing the $300 million set that we built for Stream Sharks. Woo! Featuring the two greatest pillars of gaming of the last 30 years, Miyamoto and Among Us. God. And of course, ourselves, the judges. That's looking good. <laughs> so, okay. Now why am I my logo? And you guys are all faces. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was wondering the same thing. Connor, do you want to be a face? I'll swap you, but sure. I know you're notoriously oh, camera shy. Hold on, hold on. I mean, I can't, well, I can't sync it because I'm in That's Discord. And this is his stream. Deals. Like, there's nothing yeah. I can do. You like to keep your. He's not streaming his Discord or anything. Okay, while well, I'm getting Connor's face in here. Here, I'll give you my photo that I. Thanks for some Birdleaf, JC, Kia Soul, Lambesia, your boy <laughs> Alex, <laughs> Obscure, E Girl, one, Majestic, Mushroom, and Chunky. Okay. The Prime Cutie uh, Pie. I'll explain Igor how this is going to work to you guys while you're here. And then thank you guys both for joining. I know you're both business moguls with a lot on your mind, a lot of plates. A lot of billion dollar deals going down. But today we're going to change the future of gaming and there's nothing bigger than that. I have invited everyone in my chat to pitch video game ideas that will change the future of gaming. 
and over, I don't know, we had like 500 submissions. So we narrowed it down to the ones we think are not total trash. And I have provided each of you, including myself, with $500 from Discord stages. Woo. $500 each to just give to the ideas that we think are dope. Thanks to the Prime so, Kana and the Resub Zigzag Shroom These people are now competing to pitch us in the future of their idea. And if we like it, we can compete, outbid each other, and try to gain control of the sickest These ideas. At points. the end of the show, we will ask the chat who invested in the most sick ideas at the end of it, of us three. Uh, you can split your money however you want. You can put $500 on one idea. You could do 50 on 10. You can do whatever you want. We're going to do about probably, I don't know, 10, 15 ideas. In my face. Oh, my God. Okay. It's, okay, Connor. <laughs> I will. All right. Connor eats pants. Just shut up, everybody. Let's add Connor and watch him walk out on stage. This is Connor eats pants. It's Atriox. Smaller in real life. There and he is. And Connor. Yeah, I heard about the Zodiac Killer case being solved. Yes. It says, Corpse Husband on your nose. Wow, look at <laughs> Corpse he Husband. He is looking good. <laughs> he is looking good. <laughs> uh, all right. In that case, do you guys understand? Do you guys think we're good? You have, you have a... a uh, what oh, am yeah. I saying? You guys are business legends. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm ready. ready. I'm absolutely you ready. you made deals, you made wheels. In that case, mods, we can pull up, I believe, our first pitcher... Who made the game? We only know the title. They're gonna tell us all the rest. It's called Medieval Delivery Service by Goldie Blocks. Goldie Blocks 5716. If you are ready, please get pulled up by the mods and introduce yourself to the sharks. Need to add this logo. These are resub slap and binto. And snake. I had a guy make legally distinct Shark Tank music. This is his stream, and I'm in his Discord. That's why it's desynced. I, I can't do anything that. about that. I believe you. Um, uh, yeah. There's nothing I can do. Hear it. It's just going to be a bit off. <laughs> Atriox stream. Maybe they give some medium. And thanks to the bits, Alex. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hey, welcome. Yo. Yeah. Uh, Holy blocks. Welcome. Uh, you want to uh, introduce yourself? Uh, yes, I am Goldie Blocks. I have been a viewer of Atrioc for some time now. Been around since like. Before teardown, so try and okay. uh, be Old part school. of the community. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of my hair? Uh, let me pull up the stream. Is it tier wow. one Mario? I think the age has really caught up with you. Okay. Let me be honest. All right, you get it out of the way. You get the age. <laughs> hey, hey, I made the joke earlier in the chat. You didn't see it, so <laughs> everyone made the joke earlier in the I, chat. I, Every I single him. person. I gotta say it again. You are the, not the first one. There's no originality. All right. <laughs> I hope your ideas are more original than your jokes, Goldie Blocks. Uh, Tell us about medieval delivery service. I'm very right. interested. I'm gonna okay. pull up your. I'm gonna. You want me to pull up your image? Yes. Could you please? Do you have a pitch deck that you've provided us with today, or is it just the image? Uh, it, there is. I don't know if you guys can see what I submitted as my uh, short summary of the game. It'd be cool if you could read it. I have you want notes me to read that? otherwise. I mean, you don't have to read it. You just, Look at it. I mean, uh, as, as I'm talking, you know, just reference it. Uh, Thanks to the sure. Brian Pistachio, Sixty, and the Resub Josh. I think it's supposed to be all Thank done. Thank you, Yoshi. Um, no, you gotta, you yeah. gotta sell us. Yeah, in person, you gotta just tell us. Yeah, yeah I got. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I also got like I got question points for that, but anyway, I can explain the, the main idea. You guys can ask questions. So okay, this is medieval literature. You guys can see on my screen. Thanks to one Jojo Casual. Copy paste it in the Discord just in case you guys want to see it. But. All right. Okay. All right. So. This idea here is uh, the player is playing as a postmaster general in a medieval mail mailing guild or something like that, set in a sort of medieval kingdom. Let's uh, explain this. A, the UI specifically, and you will look at the picture on the stream. Yeah, we got uh, it. Is uh, sort of like this top-down perspective where it sort of has like a medieval style. And uh, it sounds a lot like sick. Death Stranding, and your job, but is even slower, to, uh, direct uh, mail couriers around the kingdom 
to, I don't know, just fulfill deliveries that are coming up. They will be randomly generated and you like, you need to like, you know, get them where they need to be on time. And of course it's set in medieval times. So every, everything's going to be like super long delivery. So can I jump in with questions? Of course. Please do one moist okay, page. I got a question right off the bat. You're saying top down. So this is like a simul like a management game? Yes. Like this is okay. not gonna be first person. This is not gonna be like you won't have any character that you move around. You are simply managing the people mm. in this environment. So nothing like Death Stranding then. So that's very yeah. good. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I should have I maybe should have specified that. <laughs> Uh, Everyone, please open if your game is like Dead Stranding at the beginning, so we can know to. Yeah, <laughs> know I, I, it out. that way I can yeah, just get out immediately. Strand like or non strand like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Two major categories. Uh, okay. Uh, but anyway, just to go further, you gain money based on these deliveries, and you can spend that money on hiring survey corn. more uh, delivery workers, or uh, investing in new technologies to increase your delivery times, or and or uh, uh, you your ability to avoid obstacles. Because part of the idea is that you need to route the uh, courier before he lives leaves the uh, his I don't know location to go to the delivery place. And you've got to like make sure to you know go around obstacles on the map, uh, or you can go through the obstacles, but that will like run random checks to see mm. if you are delayed or injured in some way. You maybe lose the package or. Uh, I don't know, just super delayed and you can't, you know, make enough money. Wait, so is the image you provided, is that like the kind of the main, what the game looks like, or is that the menu? Yeah, I was also yeah, so wondering. This, so this is just the style of the game. This this is actually a image from a game called uh, Potion Maker, Alchemy, something like oh, that. So this is oh, this is existing. This is this is existing because I wanted an existing idea so you actually know what it is I'm like the style okay. I'm going for. Because I thought you made this and I was like, oh no, 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 yeah, no, this guy. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I'm no, wrong, but I'm not that good. <laughs> you did mention something that's piqued my interest. You said that they could be injured on their delivery routes. Are we talking Oregon Trail? Like they get dysentery, they drink pee pee and die. Like what kind of injuries are we expecting out here, and how would that be portrayed? Uh, it would mostly be because you are you have to route them first and you can't change it while they're in route you have to prioritize whether you want speed or uh riskiness and if you go risky then you're running the risk of your uh couriers being randomly injured in the sense that that they maybe get delayed for a few days or weeks or maybe they are mm, killed it is by very much an, like a trail. animal and they can't deliver the mail so oh, very no, similar to oregon oh. trail with like fording the river you know the risk versus reward type thing <laughs> Charlie wants Oregon Trail. Is what I'm, saying. I'm just saying you can't go wrong with the century. Is all I'm trying to say. Uh, we, you we can't can drink piss that. water and die. This game is not up our alley. Uh, yeah. Give me some games. This is like give me some games that are are up the alley of this game. What, what's inspiring you? It's for me, real money. Me, yeah, it's for real money. Well, I don't. Okay, so this is going to be super super or not niche. I played a game that. Was oh, never goodness. actually released. Oh goddamn! Thank you, tactical. And it was just something Holy I shit. found on Discord where you had to manage Thank a medieval you for the city subs, tactical. water management. It was just like all about medieval water management. Thank you. And uh, I thank you very played much. That game man. from start to finish for like four hours, and I was so invested. <laughs> I was. That's my. <laughs> that's my inspiration. I think that this is a <laughs> uh, cool, interesting topic, and I know personally, this is the kind of game that would get me invested for hours. Okay. Can I confer with the judges real quick? Before, I just want to just mute him for a second. Don't leave the this stage. Um, we have the ability mods. Yeah, we can. Okay, I muted him. All right, judges. I want to talk to you real quick. I don't see a lot of business potential here. He's talking about how he's playing. His reference is an obscure niche game no one's ever heard of that True. he played for four hours. His target market. I don't. The game also got canceled. It wasn't just like it didn't get finished. <laughs> it got canceled. So people with money tried this and then were like, "Wait, no, don't." And failed. <laughs> yeah. And then the, the game he took this art from, I've never even heard of it. It's beautiful. So he's not going to be at this level of yeah, art. I, I'm going to be honest. The whole pitch got thrown off for me because I was trying to understand what he said while looking at the image and trying to figure out what the image had to do with that. Um, so it just threw me off. But I don't know if there's any salvaging here, but I'm going to I'm out. So I'm going to let him know that. I, I think that it was like when I looked at the image, I thought it looked similar to like a paper, please type game, which I didn't play, but I've seen and I was like, well, I don't think I can invest in this since I don't really get the game. Um, but it sounds like it could be cool if, like, you like that thing, maybe. 
Yeah, I think if he changed it around a little bit, like we should aim big. Like we'd want, you know, maybe Kojima directing this in some way. We have yeah. the delivery men out there like risking life and limb to get the mail to the medieval castles and shit. Right? If he comes back next season and brings Kojima with him, I think that's going to be huge. Yeah, then we can hear him out a bit more. But for now, I think I'm also going to have to say I'm out. I also don't like that there's not enough Oregon Trail here. Yeah, no, the lack of Oregon Trail was oh, noticeable. tactical, thank you again. All right, Goalie Blocks, uh, we've decided Misery's we're Roberts collectively out. Hats. If you come back with and Kojima Muisa. and some Oregon Trail, I think you've got a real winner here. I'll make sure to do that. Uh, I right. appreciate you listening to Idea, and uh, thank you for your time. And thank no problem, so man. Keep yeah, thank you. Take it easy. Okay. Easy 25 again, Good, tactical. Goddamn, man. Uh, the next Thanks guy. Some Cali we have our next pitchman. I think we can pull up. Uh, Reflection C by Drakian, Drassian, Drassian three four zero one. Hey, uh, yeah. hey, Drakian. hey, Drassian. Hey. Okay, nice to meet you. Wow, that's quick. Perfect. Uh, tell us about Reflection C. I'm gonna pull up your. Yeah, your, thank you so uh, much, and uh, I just here. want to say thank you, Shocks, for uh, inviting me up to this wonderful, expensive <laughs> stage. <laughs> well, welcome, no problem, man. Welcome, yes. <laughs> Actually means a lot, you know. Flattery will work on this because I spent a lot of money on this. <laughs> That's the right? idea, bribe. <laughs> a lot of money. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just some uh, visual to help you understand what yeah. I'm going for. I have this thing where it, I auto force websites into dark mode, and so things that are <laughs> like this you cannot read. So I'm gonna it's highlight fine. all your text for you, and you can figure it out. See your yeah, reflection. No Take it away. Tell me when to go to the next slide, and we'll do it. Yeah, awesome. Uh, so this is so cute. One thing I love in games is ocean the scenery, in. like especially sad ones mm. like Wind Waker that you can see in the next slide. Um, however, one thing that always sucks. We're about investing Force potentially in Twitch chat's You're ideas. Just sailing around for hours or whatever. It's Shark Tank, but for nothing. Twitch. So that's why I've decided to put this flooded city right in the middle of it. Above the waves is a bright and beautiful city filled with colors. Um, personally, I'm inspired by like Italian cities, coastal cities, where you have these like bright, vibrant colors that like pop out and stick out, um, and that you know this beautiful world that you can like see and explore. And then below the waves, you have this ruined, gray, and murky city with creatures like waiting for the victims to fall in. Um, and that's like the the image of the world I'm setting in. And so now for gameplay, now. Two of my all-time favorite games are Super Mario 64 um, and Hollow Knight. Um, okay. And I've recently played It Takes Two, and I love the movement system on that, where you get to develop. It's a good game. Like, you start off with these basics of, like, you jumping, and then you're sprinting, and then you do long jumps, and then you do uh, stringing jumps together. And I love that, like, you start with very basics, and then you're building up and learning these, all these advanced techniques. Um, so mm -hmm. I imagine yourself, like, mastering and practicing these movements within this like world where you get to run around and jump around these skyscrapers thank above, you again tactical appreciate below. the five man um i hope you're doing well. and another massive thing that inspired me is like metroidvanias however not in the Oof. way you're probably expecting um one of the things that i think would be really really cool mm -hmm. is that say in like a tutorial or starting area you're learning to do a long jump for the first ever time and what's really annoying in Metroidvania is, is when you see an error and you're like, cool, I can't go there yet. I've got to wait for an item. You just run, Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So You've seen me do that every time I play <laughs> Metroidvania on stream. Yep, uh, I did love your Hollow Knight series. Uh, <laughs> Thanks to Prime Zeggy. So one of the things I, I think would be awesome is if you're able to master the movement system. Let's say you're messing around, but I get the story. You've not even played the game. You, you've mastered the movement system, you know these advanced Thanks, techniques, tactical, you can man. use them to go really to the areas it. where if you've only learned the basics, you're like, oh, I'll have to come back to that later. So well, let me jump in. I want to I ask you yeah, right yeah. So like, no, no. I'm imagining a situation. Let's say the backflip in Mario or like a yeah. backflip wall jump. Yep, so exactly. That's how I'm getting to a new area. Like I can yeah. do that from day one, but yeah. I haven't learned it. Okay, interesting. So, okay. so you're, 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 you're at this like ledge and you just, you're in the game, it's like a tutorial or whatever. And you're learning a long jump. And you notice a ledge right mm. above you. And you're like, fuck, I can't get there yet. I, I'm going to have to come back for it. But if it's your second playthrough, or as you said, like you've like m know the movement and learned the movement, Makes you'll know, under. I can do that from the get-go. You no longer have to wait for this item or anything. Are there the sex scenes? That's a good question. Gameplay experience is not tied by getting items or getting to a certain point in the game. It's tied to your skill and your 
technique in the game from the get-go. And it means in this open city, you can explore wherever you want, depending on how much you've mastered the movement in the game. Okay, can, can you, I, can, all you right. like, can you explain how that would work? Because it's just like say on paper, like it would just be it would just be better on the next playthrough because you're better. But like, how do you how do you make that happen? Okay, so the the biggest thing is um, from like is my research, is, another one tactical thing, uh, level design. Mm -hmm. And so what you would do is you would have specific areas where like on your first playthrough it would feel very linear, or it would feel like you know you have options, but it's a very like you understand where you have to go next. The goal is pointing you to this direction, and you know you would have to use movement. So you know the first couple levels will be basic where you just run, jump, designed to be speed uh, ran. It sounds like, like yeah, run or anything like that. And then the next level you'll learn like more and more. And so on your first playthrough, it will feel like you are slowly building skills. Imagine as you would any other game, whereas your first time playing. Um. But then on your Can second I, playthrough, oh, go on, sorry. I want to jump in here for a second because I, I, you know, we only have a certain amount of time for each one of these, yeah. and I want to make sure that I get yeah, some yeah, questions so out. So I heard a couple things. I heard mm. uh, skill based. I heard yep. speed running. I yep. heard beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, good words. Good I words. Heard deep exploration. Okay, what I hear from those things is no money <laughs> and expensive <laughs> to make. I didn't hear loot boxes. <laughs> I didn't hear gotcha games. I didn't hear skins. So I'm trying to see here. Okay, are you thinking this is a major like system launching Super Mario 64 type game? Because that's sort of how I see this working. I think we got to go big with this, or or is this like an Ori in the Blind Forest? Like, give me some games this is similar to that I think we're gonna. Is it what's the, what's, yeah, the, size, what's the market here? You so you you actually already gave a perfect example Thanks, of like Atticus. Ori in the Blind Forest and these games where like it comes out with a system. However. Uh, after watching your recent marketing video, I've learned that the best tactic is I'm still a game dev student. I've got a long time till I can make this game. So my plan is to wait till that pendulum swings all the other way and there's no demand or there's loads of demand for a game that doesn't have all these shitty systems in because we're going to get force fed <laughs> them for the past next like five, ten years. Mm, and shitty I sweep systems. in, boom, here's this game that you've been wanting for the past ten years. Now, if I may, there's one thing that I didn't hear you touch on at all, yeah, and that's the narrative. It Takes Two has a beautiful story, and I think most people remember Super yes. Mario 64 for its story as well. Is this going to have a strong narrative? So, personally, I really love soft world building, which you see in games like Dark Souls and um, Hollow Knight and all these other, like, uh, like learn as you go along and from small little tidbits. So... Oh, sorry, excuse me. I, I already have like a general story idea for it of like maybe you're in this like world where global warming has took over and this like the entire place mm. is flooded, it's polluted and stuff like that. And as okay. you go around the in this message. top world, yeah, exactly. Yeah, would there be any like heavy themes that you'd want to tackle, like war crimes, PTSD, anything like that, or would it be more lighthearted like Super Mario sixty four? I like uh, light-hearted, or it seems light-hearted, but there's like a dark undertone to it. Mm -hmm. So, for example, okay. in my head, I had this image oh, of like yeah. this beautiful city is built because it's literally the only thing that can bring happiness to people because there's no land, there's no grass, there's, no, there's nothing. You're just in this ocean. So they built this like beautiful city as it rises up, and as you see below, it's this dark and grimy thing of what's happened over the past. Okay. I'm hearing higher review scores. Okay, this this... This subtle, uh, you know, eco message undertone. That means Kotaku's giving it two more points. Yeah. Yeah. IGN's giving it two more points. All right, so you're already you're turning what could be a seven into a nine already, and I'm loving that. Uh, listen, I I want to jump in here, and I want to say that I I two things about you. I think first of all, you've got a cake. clear um, there's some Pringle, a lot of knowledge of gaming. Okay, famous. you played a lot of different games. You've shown that in your pitch. Two, hey, you have uh, a British voice. Okay, yep, your British UK. voice is selling me UK. Yeah, it's selling me on. Everything you're saying with a little bit more of a degree. I'm going to invest $50. I'm going to offer you $50 to invest in your game. Okay? Yep. By the way, chat, I have two new emotes. You can spam uh, Atriox Shark if you think the deal is bad or Atriox Deal if you think you should take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay? And there are two sharks. So those are available if you'd like to Hey, do I Do fun. I invest or do we share money? So what you can do is you can offer them a better deal or you can offer me if we want to split it. That's what they do on the actual show. Uh, so you can okay. say I'm gonna I'm gonna offer you sixty, and he can and he can pick who he wants to go with. I, I still am just like, like I don't want to spend too much time on one if we got a lot of people, a lot of people. But like for me, like even when I you answer my question, like 
because the way other games do it is like let's say you start in hollow knight like, like even if you were good at the game like in you don't have abilities thick. to do things and for me if i start a game i'm going to test every movement option i have beat an air dash beat everything see what the buttons do so like I, I don't fully understand your vision to make it so that i can't so that i don't know how to do things on my first go through well uh, that's the thing it, it makes me some all here to to, or if you learn all that things if it's an open world where you're free imagine super mario where all the doors are open and after you get 16 stars then you get to do uh bowser yeah you can do the same thing you know you can go busy. through door one door two door three door four but if you've mastered the movement and you're like you know what? i want to go to door four first if you've mastered the movement you can do that right off the get-go okay I, yeah i guess i get what you're saying are you in or out connor uh i'm gonna let you take this one big a uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna step out fifty dollars i I, I think i think conceptually the idea is really cool i like the idea of the island city thing so i'm mm -hmm. hoping it works out so here's where i'm at on this i i like i like the idea i like the heart put in here but for me if i was going to come in i'd want to partner with atrioc here because i think the two of us could make a spectacular team and maybe even drive this up to a, a 10 out of 10 instead of a nine i think what we'd need is we need to work on the story. I think we'd want to make this dark. I'm, I'm talking blood gore. I'm talking titties. I want this to kind of get a little more deep and a little darker. And I think yeah. we could have a real hit on our hands. So if if Atrioc would have me, I'd go in. I, I'd go 25. He goes 25 and we, we split 25? the 50. Yeah. Hey, listen, I'll if set. you throw titties in there, I'll toss in 25. Fuck it. You want to go 75? I'll give you 75 if we throw titties in there. Uh, we'll do 25 a pop. We take that deal for all three sharks. You have a, you have a unanimous. Yeah, a unanimous. I've got to take it. It's a deal. Okay, there must be titties though. So figure out how to. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's become non-negotiable. Sex sells. <laughs> I went from like Ori in the Blind. Charlie <laughs> sold me. I just I see a lot of potential here that we need to explore with the idea as well. You know, yeah. There's been a lot of like these you know artsy exploration games, none with titties, no super dark ones with titties. Let's. let's They're afraid to now. Yeah, it seems. They're afraid to. We could we could be the pioneers. I think we could be the the trailblazers. <laughs> I like where your heads at, and we've invested. So, thank you, uh, uh, Draco. Oh, sorry, I keep saying Dr Dracion. Yeah. Thanks, Reese. I'm shook. Deoxys and thank Benjamin. You for, your, uh, for your pitch and congratulations. Well, you've yeah, gotten all the sharks. Thank you so much. Enjoy, man. Okay. Let's get our third uh, pitcher in here. That was a good one. I like to see you came prepared. Um, Mods, you know the third one is. It's Dire. Can you get Dire up in here for Patchwork Nightmare? Hello. Cool title. Hi, Dire. Hi. Is my audio coming in all good and everything? You Sounds sound great. great. You sound all right, sweet. Clear. All right. Uh, um, thanks for having me on and everything. Big fan of all of you guys. <laughs> Uh, awesome. Who's the most, really, if you had to pick? Who's your... <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, here's my pitch. Um... Oh, that was a good way of dodging the question. If it was the wrong answer, I was out on the spot. <laughs> well said, well so, said. Uh, so, if you want to go to the first Oh, is this one, their own art? Game. Did he make the uh, art himself? Yes. Yep. Uh, this is Patrick Nightmare. I, I hope it doesn't say Patrick Nightmare because I can't. Again. It does. Okay. Well, oh, there it is. Patchwork Nightmare. Yep. <laughs> I highlighted the text. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah. Tell me when to go to the next slide whenever you want to, and I will. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the font, I've got to say. Uh, so, my game is Patchwork Nightmare. It's like if Shadow of the Colossus meant a 3D platformer like Hat in Time or any of the 3D Marios. Uh, and now, before I talk about my game, I kind of want to talk about what inspired it quickly. So, if you go to the next slide. Mm hmm. I have had a teddy bear ever since I was a baby. His Aww. name is Wawa. I have held Aww. Wawa in my arms every night as I've slept for the past 22 years of my life. A stuffed Aww. animal is something important to a kid. It's their best friend. This is it's a good pitch. Protector. It's something that everyone can relate to having. So my game is about when that protector needs to actually protect the kid. <laughs> so next slide. Uh, the simple breakdown of my game is you play as Patches, an old, torn-up teddy bear who's seen some better days but absolutely loves their owner and will do anything for them. And their kid is afraid to death of the monsters all around the house. So, at night, you put on your little baby blanket coat, uh, eh, baby blanket cloak, uh, grab your plate, I can't talk, <laughs> grab your paperclip sword and go to beat them all up to protect the kid like a good teddy bear does. This is such a um, cute idea. Holy fuck, this is cute. Uh, next slide. Makes the reason of Alu, Star Wolf, Cheeto, so and gives some chance. 
traverse the house at night, sneaking all around and going to different locations in the house that the kid is afraid of, like the huge dead tree in the backyard uh, or the creepy broken washing machine that's leaking all over the floor. And you fight these huge, unimaginable monsters uh, and climbing all over them to vanquish them. And all the monsters are actually other stuffed animals that the kid has lost. And they're turned evil by the same magic that lets patches, like, come to life at night and stuff. So every monster you beat is another stuffed animal that you save. And they show up in the kid's room, like, on the shelf to show your progress. But they also give you powers. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. No problem. Uh, they also give you powers when you save them. Like a grappling hook from the octopus. Uh, or a double jump from the bee when you jump on it. Like, you can see it in there. Like, you jump on it, it's, like, crying and falling. Um, is the prime cat so each new power just chance. lets you explore more and more of the house. And because the boss fights, they're only half the game. Uh, next slide. The other half is like a stealth platformer type thing. I mean, you're a teddy bear after all. You can't just have people see you walking around. So you need to avoid the parents walking around in the house at night by ducking behind a plant or climbing in between a couch, climbing in between a couch cushion. But I think that could be cool, like Little Nightmare style. You, uh, Patches plays dead, and they carry you all the way back to the kids' room, and you have to start your way back from where you started. And that's just appearance. On some nights, the babysitter's there, and if they catch you, they throw you in the toy chest, and it's hard to break out of there because you're made of fluff. And the most important mm. thing you just need to sneak around is the family dog, Rat. Next slide. <laughs> now, most of the time, Rat is sleeping, but if you make too much noise, they'll wake up and see you. Uh, next slide. They'll start chasing you around, trying to eat patches, barking up a storm, getting the attention of whatever adult is in the house that night. And that's just the start of what the obstacles could be. So as you play through the game, you're expanding your arsenal of boosts. Unironically, a cool idea. Save, Not going to lie. And you save... Yeah, sorry. Uh, and you're getting more and more movement options to make the stealth easier and the movement more fun. Now, you might be wondering, why doesn't patches turn evil if it's the same magic bring patches to life that's turning all the other uh, stuffed animals evil? Now, do you want spoilers for the final boss or no? Can I take well, a guess? Because I feel like I'm already in the world here. I imagine the magic didn't turn him evil because he had the love of the child, whereas the other ones were lost. Yep, you're getting there. So, next slide. Okay. Since Patches is out all night protecting the kid from the monsters, Patches isn't there when the kid wakes up. So Patches gets a new stuffed animal, a little bunny, and they let Patches fall under the bed, and Patches is just crushed by this so patches is the final boss and you play as the bunny to rescue the kid who's trapped by patches trying to hold on to them prying and hurt and all the other stuffed animals lend the bunny their power to save the kid and turn patches He's back to team. normal and that is patchwork nightmare holy fuck wow <laughs> that was so good that was I good actually, bro i genuinely adore everything about that i actually fucking love that when you started that you said it was like shadow of the colossus meets like mario and like i i didn't get that from the way you described the game it was very it sounded like very stealth like and stuff can you explain what you mean by like the gameplay in that yeah order? i got more of a little nightmares kind of vibe with like yeah. avoiding the dog avoiding the parents yeah right uh i imagine it's like so it starts out as more stealthy, but as you beat more bosses and stuff, you get more movement options to like let you move around more fun like a Mario would. Like You can climb walls, you can jump them off and stuff. So as you progress, the stealth gets easier and just have fun like whipping around the house on the grappling hook and stuff like that. I absolutely love that. No, I, I think that's sick. I think it's a great idea. I love the, I love the concept of it. I think it's super adorable. Uh, I love You're it. You're going to put your money where your mouth is, Connor? Are you going <laughs> to be thinking about investing? Yeah, I didn't realize I was actually putting my money in, though. I thought that we just no, had a pool of money. It's $500 for each of us that I put in. So you, oh. you have $500 from Discord that you can spend however you want. Is there some um, cruising? That, that I will pay out. I genuinely love this so much. I'm going to give you half of that. I'm going to give you $250 for that. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Wait. Uh, Whoa. Ooh. Whoa, you went high ball. Are you trying to shark them? You're trying to I shark think it's them. fantastic. Well, how, much, how much equity are you looking for in yeah, return for that, equity? Connor? Yeah, exactly. I, just want, I just want to make it. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mogul. Let me, let me talk to you. Okay, before he jumps with his $250, I want to talk to you because I, I do love this idea. I think mm -hmm. you've come with a very cool world building. The, the character design with the paperclip sword and the, and the blanket cape, I mean, this is an iconic lead character. There's Thank two you. things that make me a little bit nervous about investing, and Connor's already given me 250, so you don't have to worry. You can leave me out, okay? But I'm gonna just give you my, some DJ my opinion here. I think one, this part with the babysitter and the parents, this sounds like the, I was so into this game when I was watching this part, and this mm -hmm. part made me think, man, if I'm playing that on stream, 
and the parent catch me and I have to go all the way back and I'm stuck in the toy chest and start this stealth part seemed way less fun than the world exploring and the boss fighting and the the freedom. Yeah, like, I if gave I was it in up. Shadow of Colossus and every five minutes, like I had to dodge a, a searchlight and then I got sent back mm -hmm. to the start. Like I don't know. I this part scared me. So I, I don't know if you wanted to if I'm investing, I would like to tone that part down or make it like scripted sequences, like little nightmares. Right. So that's where I'm at for my investment. And then one more thing is uh look, Patchy's a fucking cool character. I think people are going to love this guy. I think they're going to relate to him. They're going to feel good playing him. And to make him evil at the end feels like a bit of a gut punch. Now, you can pull that. Listen, going dark is crazy. It's a great twist. Mm -hmm. I'm, if there's any way to salvage him or after he's defeated, maybe you see him be the friend. Uh, yes, Patches think... does become good again. So like all okay. the other stuffed animals, he just like joins the shelf and stuff. So well, I think it's water, a great man. twist. I think if you're playing the whole game as patches, and then at the end you're you're this new look guy that like it's kind of been like antagonized the whole game as like your replacement. Like I feel like I we're in Last of Us Two situation where you know, <laughs> yeah. where the the you grow to uh grow to love Joel, and then they switch it on you, and then everyone gets mad. Is what, that's I what it's fine though, like, especially with like a concept that's so like kid friendly too. Like yeah, I like it. All right. Well, I'm not putting up two fifty, but I would be happy to co invest. But I think me and Connor have differences, so no, jump in. To... I think we mostly agree. <laughs> okay, then I'm me. dropping. I'll drop a fifty, and you can put in two hundred, and we can. Uh, you can have more equity. Okay. I think the idea is absolutely fantastic. Before uh, before I come in, I'd like to know how many how many uh, contestants do we have today, Big A? Uh, we got listen near infinite. I'm gonna go to like ten to twelve, is what I was thinking of. We'll, we'll, we'll okay. Go. Okay. Yeah. When they start getting really bad. <laughs> Because we've, we've kind of front loaded some of the great ones, right? So, <laughs> okay, you know. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I'll just go ahead and save for now. I'll let I'll let you two handle this one. But I think the idea is fantastic, and hopefully, it gets made at some point. Thank you. Yeah. To be honest, I, I really think this character design is so awesome. I, I, I this what I I'm sold on this slide alone. I think people I, are I gonna do, love I agree. the play. I this. think it's so great. When you yeah. said that with like Shadow Colossus meets Mario, I was like, I fucking love that. Yeah. I think it's super awesome. <laughs> Needs to be some climax. Right. Connor is majority owner, and I'm a minority older or, or, or investor in um, the game Patchwork Nightmare. Thank you for your pitch. That was awesome. Thank you all so much for letting me come on. Thank you. No problem, dude. Yeah, thank you. That Have was a great really cool. uh, rest of the stream and stuff. Um, mods, we have um, Cartoon Blades up next. And mods, if you don't mind, if you could just get the next person set up after we do the current one. I think any of the green ones you picked are good. Um, you can even ping me if you want, and we'll go with that. How do you sign up to give a pitch? It's Atriox shot. community. Good. Well, now we're out of the, uh, you know, uh, we've been getting a lot of um, little nightmares type fantasy worlds, you know, like we, let's get a, let's get a game called Body Shot and see what we got. Maybe this will have titties built in from the beginning. Ooh, that would be pretty wild. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Welcome. Welcome. What's up, Cartoon Blaze? Uh, I'm doing good. I'm fans of all three of you. <laughs> I'm following a tough act, so <laughs> but I'm ready. Whoa, he built uh, a whole website here. Link for mine? I do, I have it up. It should be up on screen. Okay, great. So I, my I game like the first line already. <laughs> yeah. My game is called Body Shot. It's an FPS. So are you sick of shooting headshots with your absolutely perfect aim? Like yes. every shooting game mm -hmm. is just always the same because no matter what you just kill yes. them in one hit. So body shot is different. Body shot is a game where you're literally targets, like archery targets, and aiming at the center of the target does extra damage. So with this game, the first thing first that always needs to be talked about is monetization. Hell yeah. <laughs> so now this, we're talking Now we're talking money. Okay. Exactly. Targets are extremely simple which means they're very easy to add extra content and designs to. Just cosmetics. <laughs> well, I know this. I printing. see this, this pirate target with a green circle and a golden gun. I'm already... And you've written a little math equation for us. Free game plus cosmetics equals printing money. Exactly. Okay, right. You can't this. argue with the science. I, I would be curious to know, this kind of skin, what would that go for in the, uh, the shop? Great question. Uh, the golden gun itself... Uh... <laughs> It could probably range from, on a sale maybe two fifty, but on the high end, I can imagine marking it up to ten dollars if needed. Okay, okay, okay. So we're undercutting Valorant a little bit, a little bit under Valorant. I got that. Okay. 
Yeah, trying to aim more towards fall, guys. Prices. Through some Zazius? Yeah, no, I, th I have an alternate revenue stream for you here. Instead of selling skins for your character, you could sell, like, a one-time, like, item, right? To upload your own image onto the target. So say you're, like, a Minecraft saying, like, hates their dad, right? You could, like, upload a photo, and they all the other targets are oh, now their wow. dad. <laughs> That and you would can be like, oh, I hate dad. He doesn't let me watch Dream for more than an hour and a half a day. <laughs> also, he's racist or some shit. And then you just, there you go. Now, Connor, Connor is on to something. This is something we should seriously consider with Body Shot. Okay. okay. So, moving on. With the mechanics. <laughs> so, with the mechanics, yeah. I want this game to be competitive Excellent and problem, casual. Brett. But if you're competitive and you learn the things, you will always just beat the casual players. Okay. So, because the mechanics in this, rocket jumping, wave dashing, backwards long jumping. Oh. If you figure out a way to clip through the walls, I'll count that. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> wave you dash and back You're yeah. just throwing things in there. Exactly, because it's a first-person shooter. <laughs> Wait, so I'm gonna see some guy <laughs> with a uh, Minecraft kid's dad profile picture backwards long jumping up the stairs and shooting me with a golden gun? Yeah, he's gonna be blasting that ass. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. I mean, if they find out other ways to abuse the game engine, I'm fine counting as those as mechanics too. But okay. I would just have to wait and see. So you're in the no patch camp. You're 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 thinking if they find out some broken stuff, you're we're, yeah, we're only patches yeah, neither are things that make me money. Okay, no crunch mm, on these guys. I like that. Okay, okay. all right. Economy, bring it up. Keep going. For economy, okay. You can bet, gamble, and hold stocks in competitive players, clans, and matches using limited time cosmetics. So, since it's a bit fishy to use actual things that you buy in the store, throw events, you'll be able to get limited time uh, skins for free with all of them slightly varying. And then be able to place them up against each other for essentially trade. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then on to my final point at the top of the page. There's going to be constant updates with also with game modes. Because the more game modes equals the more players equals more money. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. What a I don't see it here on the site. What platform are we looking at uh, releasing Body Shot on? Oh, that's exactly at the bottom of left of the page. And now I'm saying oh, exactly oh, you what got, to. Oh, you got more here. Oh, okay. oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to skip ahead. Ooh. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I'm seeing. Okay. Oh, wow. There's a lot here. Okay. Wait, hold wait, on. Yeah, that concept yeah. art is just the Overwatch you guys. <laughs> yeah, it rotates wait. throughout different things here. The concept art is just Overwatch oh, custom art. games. <laughs> no, that's just Fortnite. It's Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have uh, Clash of Clans, Clan vs. Clan, Overwatch, and Fortnite. Okay. All right. Those Imagine all make money. Those all make a lot of money. Imagine Connor Esports and Mo Moist Esports against Smoke Moves and S3K. Hmm. Mm. So really the, really the common man versus the big money. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> with, uh, with clans, I want to make it not just one clan versus one clan, but multi-clans. So you could pair up. So if your friends are in one clan and you're in a clan, you don't all have to leave this clan, join another one. You can just compete side by side with them against another team going side by side. And I want clan battles to be the main competitive mode. Because in FPS shooters, you always solo queue, and you always hear people's, you always get mad playing with your teammates. It's just these random people aren't fun. A lot of the time, you don't like make new th friends through them. It doesn't work out well, and you always okay, hear, wait, hear wait, people wait, wait, wait. saying, but "I gotta jump in." Most people don't have friends that play FPSs. Ninety percent of Valorant players are incapable of having a single human friend because they're not good enough people. How exactly. do you solve for that? <laughs> How are they gonna join? You if know, you join a clan, <laughs> some people aren't comfortable kicking you from the clan. <laughs> so that's basically just making new friends. Okay, so your plan is to just, they just keep joining clans until they don't get kicked, and that's their new group. Yep. <laughs> okay, all, right. all right, all right. All right, okay. Let's go to the Let digits here. Tell me about these digits. Okay, so I have right. zero years of game experience, but that okay. will be worked on. <laughs> Uh, hopefully one soon to be business partner. Uh, this game will definitely easily get at least 25 million active players. Uh, hopefully many tournaments like, will practice. We sign? Uh, yes. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's a pretty good deal, to be that's honest. That's a pretty good deal. Guaranteed 25 million. Okay. <laughs> and awards Many will just be coming through the door. <laughs> and five plus industry awards. Wow. Our partners. Well, don't put our name on the partner slide. <laughs> and Clint oh, there's Stevens a question mark. Okay. I'll oh, mark. is Clint an oh, early investor? In. Did you Did you already pitch it to him? <laughs> I mean, I hope he invests. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 And Moving down you, the page. Yeah. Just yeah. Let's get to this final point. There's amazing map design and a map editor. So the maps already included in the game will be like the ones below. Those will not be in the game because that's copyrighted material. But because there's a map editor, people will guaranteed make them within a week. Mm, the Roblox method. Exactly. Let's read some Hayden and Booty. You get and around now, copyright by having all the children create it. It's Atriox Discord, Gabo. I don't enough. think you can I anymore. This. I think he closed it. And now, finally, with the gunplay, I want multiple different types of weapons. Because if I mess up balancing one weapon, but then another one, then that kind of just cancels out. So first, there's range projectile, which is obvious since it's targets, a bow, crossbow. I want mm -hmm. this game to be pretty ranged. So for guns, there's sniper rifle, a battle rifle. And then when you go close range, I don't want something like a shotgun. So glow sticks and a skateboard hit them right over the head, of their target head. And then go, go. the most interesting one, pets. You need the cool one, the cute one, more later down the line. So you get a little dragon and an otter. And don't worry, those can't get shot. <laughs> okay, well, I was worried. <laughs> okay, uh, all right. Uh, is that it? Is that the, oh, that's and the, the platforms. Oh. I forgot to mention it. Yeah, that's what I'm most curious about. Uh, so it will launch first on Steam and with Xbox and PlayStation. Then, if there was ever a Nintendo Switch Pro, I mean, but it can go on the base Nintendo Switch. And from what I've learned, Nintendo fans will just buy games, mm -hmm. and the free yeah. advertising from it is huge. Hey, ARMS is proof, buddy. ARMS is proof. This is better than ARMS. And with VR, from what I've learned, with first-person shooters, all you have to do is move your arms and have the bullets fire, and people will have a fun time just messing around with it. Played VR recently, I agree. And finally, if you have a mobile spin-off gotcha game, even more money. Hand it off to someone else, they can make it for us. What is more gotcha than what you've already got in this, in this game? Well, you take screenshots of the targets with the different cosmetics. Got it. And okay. Yeah. Well, I appreciate the pitch. Thank you for the pitch. I wonder if my co-hosts have any questions or they want to jump up with any money. Oh, I, I do have a, a quick inquiry, if you don't mind. What? So, is this a two-dimensional game? Like, are the targets existing in a 3D space, or how exactly oh, is 3D that? 3D space. Okay, so are they going to have legs, or are they floating? Do they, you know, what, how is that going to look? Uh, I went back, on, back and forth on that. I think the best way to do it would be give them legs, mm -hmm. but not arms. Have the guns just be floating. <laughs> okay, so kind of like a like a stop sign. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. That, okay. Now I can picture it. And okay. You can picture it. Yeah. No, now I. Like, I cannot. Picture now I get it. it. Well, no, well no, if I they have if they have legs, they can obviously backwards long jump now. So that's I. Okay. Yeah, that's where I was a little hung up. Like if they're floating, you can't really BLJ super well. I I'm just trying to picture a world where a target with legs is backwards long jumping around dust two with a glow stick weapon, and I'm just trying to figure out. I don't. I, that I, there's a disconnect there on me and my money. So currently I'm out, but I want to see where my co-hosts are at, and maybe they they'll jump in. I yeah, there's there's seeing more potential than I am. Oh, I, I could clarify one thing for you. I was concerned about the lack of enthusiasm behind the whole placing like your own custom image for money in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh... This game will do well. And this is epic so. in little Ooh, lamb. I, I, like, I like the David confidence. Red. He's confident for sure. 25 million players. Yeah, that was a guarantee you said, right? Yes. Okay. Based on his zero years of game experience. Well, so where does the, the 25 million guarantee come from? Have we consulted some experts in the field, perhaps? Yes, I looked up a game. I don't remember what it was, mm -hmm. but it had less than that. So I'm not, I think it was Overwatch. Had about had a lot less than that. Oh yeah. If that's dead game, then I can immediately right. just 
much higher. That does. I mean, this to me, this sounds better than Overwatch so far. <laughs> I, I actually agree. I, <laughs> hmm. Connor, where where are you at on this one? I don't know, man. Uh, I I think that it's like it's the kind of thing that like someone would hear about on social media, be like, oh, there's this new shooting game, but like there's not heads, they're just targets, and they're like, oh, that's cool, and they play it for like two minutes in the beta and the beta is not done they'd be like okay i played enough of the concept and they never play it when it fully comes up comes out so uh, that's what i see in it currently uh but maybe you know more than i do uh guy who made game uh maybe you can sell me on it still but uh, for now i'm gonna i'm gonna pass can i say that i think the only way this game gets enough pr to get 25 million players is if Minecraft kids aren't shooting their dads and there's 400 news articles on it. <laughs> like, <laughs> unless Connor and his terrible uh, amoral idea gets implemented, there's no way this gets enough press coverage to get people to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, even if this game takes the split gate approach, just you get some players, they go away, then TikTok could also help it just boost it up. Oh, that, like that is a good a questioning. Bit. A good question. Marketing strategies. What are you feeling? How would you get this game out there to the masses? Uh, provide it to streamers. Uh, mm -hmm. Similar mm -hmm. to how Nick All Star Brawl just released. Give it to streamers. Have them mess around. Then on the first day, just pump out as much content as I have ready. Mm -hmm. Then, a, like, a loose stream of it. Back or er, store some of it up. For another big patch later on, to try to regrab people into the game after more stuff has been added in. Okay, well, this isn't an easy decision for me to make because there's a lot I like here, but I think overall, what's really kind of scared me away is the 25 million player guarantee from launch. I just, you know, I I, I don't know how much faith I'd put in that. People are fickle <laughs> like that. There's there's a good chance you might not get 25 million. <laughs> I know you've done the market research. It seems like it's a surefire thing, but for me, it's just its a little too scary. I'm going to have to say I'm out. Have you considered that 25 active million players also includes the gotcha game? Mm, so the mobile game comes out at the same time then? Yes. Interesting, interesting. I'm still going to have to probably say I'm out for now, I think. What if I drop it down to 24 million well then it doesn't seem like it's if you drop the guarantee yeah, it seems like it then... just a little bit less of guarantee well now we're getting okay well we're getting closer then the art of the deal all right all right, right. okay okay you both shaken our confidence in your guarantee and reduced the amount of players you will have <laughs> <laughs> that is clever uh all right uh cartoon blaze i appreciate your pitch i think i think we're getting an, an out from our three judges, but I think there's potential here. And look, if we flash forward six months and you're sitting on top of a $4 billion game because you've got 25 million active players and you're farming skins, I will regret it every night. <laughs> but for now, I just see a lot of risk here. I just think um, Please I read think some going to be a, a dangerous game to be involved and thank you, in. By the way, Red. It seems like you have completely it's Atriox money though. Uh, money printing strategies and you're gonna have to do a lot of things to, get, and also like copyright holding strategies. <laughs> I just think this could be a game that's gonna be tough to. You have to have a big legal team to make this game work, and so uh, I'm gonna have to be out. But thank you, Cartoon Plays. It's okay. I know when I talk to Clint Stevens, he'll invest. So. <laughs> Clint has been known to to invest in ideas Clint similar gambles, to this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I got. I got. You know. I think that might have just been Cliff Blazinski trying to convince us on his next game. <laughs> <laughs> no. You guys ever heard of Lawbreakers? <laughs> I think that might have just been Lawbreakers too. <laughs> Bro, I think Cliff may actually just join later. Uh, do you guys remember when Cliff made that Battle Royale last second out of... Oh, Radical what Heights, baby. Called? Radical Heights? Yes. I would unironically play an, a, a thousand hours of body shot over <laughs> to Radical Heights. You, you're misremembering Radical Heights. That shit was no, so fun. Would, it was so, it was it so was good. It was not bad. Uh, the Fortnite killer. Um, all right, uh, we got a new one coming up. I think Kronos. Oh, Kronos, longtime stream viewer. I actually love Kronos. He's calling it the ultimate chat game show. This could be a mm. Twitch commission, and has three streamers, all of whom are in the top fifteen hundred most highest paid. We <laughs> have equal thoughts on this. Um, I'm pulling. Oh, there's this. 
Hello. Welcome. Kronos. Great to meet you. Hey, great to meet you guys too. Um, I'm go I'm gonna be quick. See a lot of Regis you know, here. I don't have a red pitch. and doink. Uh, if we can get sure. production team to full screen the, you know, the, yeah, that, that works. I'll um, tell them. I'll get them right on it. Yeah. So, as all three of you know, the biggest growing category on Twitch right now is game shows. Now, the problem that I see with a game show as a viewer is that production takes a long time and it's it's effort so instead what if you were the game show host next slide these are probably like the jokers pitching me something <laughs> <laughs> gamers love the joker connor i'm already more gamers intrigued. love the joker it's true now i am a professional software developer who is actively trying to break into the game development industry. And I already have a working prototype for this game. So hopefully that helps sway your decision. Now, if you're the host, who's the contestant? Next slide. That's right. It's a lucky chatter. And you are Regis. Oh, Regis. Regis. <laughs> Now, you can see at the top here, this is, a, this is you know, high-quality concept art here. We've got believers. We've got doubters. When you <laughs> no pitch you know? one person as the contestant, you can go ahead, and they're, they're, not, they're not trying to win the million dollars. They're trying to beat every other single person in chat. Or we've got team modes like believers versus doubters, subs versus plebs. You know, or mods, and that's that's the game pitch. You're the game show host. Everyone in chat that is participating has an avatar, like in this screenshot that I mm. definitely made. I and played this where... game. This is a one versus one hundred on the Xbox Arcade. Yes, that is my inspiration. Is one versus one hundred on the <laughs> Xbox Arcade? That is a hundred percent it. That game was great. I wish they ran it for mm -hmm. more than two seasons. I agree. <laughs> okay. Um, I haven't played one versus 100, so I'm a little left out here, but can I ask a couple questions about this gameplay? Are you, is this, uh, is this? Yes, question time? of course. Okay. Of course. So I, the streamer, some new the world. host. I'm basically Regis in this situation. Correct. Okay. And so the game is going to feed me questions to ask my chat trivia questions. Yeah. So something like that, um, or you, it, the game, the game will feed you things. We'll have built in thousands of questions already. We'll also have the option for your community to submit their own questions so that you don't have to come up with the content yourself. You can just use UGC. Okay. Uh, here's my main question. I, I assume my other hosts are thinking the same thing. Let's say I host this game. First question is what's the capital of Andorra or something. <laughs> Half my chat's going to Google that instantly. <laughs> And then click it, mm. and, and then and then they'll move on, and then say, "I'm so smart, five head, five head. I'm a genius." That and, is true. And... <laughs> How do we prevent that? Do you have yeah, uh, me out here. Like, yeah. measures in place? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've mulled over some different countermeasures. Um, I mean, for, you could have a fast timer, but that's kind of lame, right? You you got know, it's fast typers, and people check it anyway. Um, you could have hyper specific trivia that's not Googleable. Um, what wouldn't be? And it, like I said, if users submit their own questions, you know, it might not, uh, might not be able to search stuff up on there. Hmm. Well, I love one versus one hundred. That's well, good. I'm glad. To, I'm yeah. glad to hear that. Do you um, think there's a way you could save this game, Charlie? Oh, what, what do you? What do you? I, I just don't think it would work because you can Google it so easily. Like, it's very hard to lose this game. The only way this would work is if you got chosen, you would literally get flown out to the location and you, you play it in person. 
See, I don't, I don't think the the original the Xbox 360 game had countermeasures either. It didn't. No, everyone was fucking cheating in that game too. <laughs> I guess that's, I guess that's true. Um, well, it, that is a valid concern. Um, real fast, the last thing I'll talk about is monetization. Okay. Um, you could, you could sell. Um, so kind of like marbles on <laughs> marbles on stream. Um, you know, the chatters could. Oh yes, uh, you weren't supposed to go there, but rest in peace, Regis. Um, <laughs> no, I'll get there. Uh, yeah, please, I don't mean chatters could, you that. know, buy their avatar skin so they can stand out. He's a holy. Um, you could sell hosts, so I could have a host that looks like Atrioc, looks like Connor, looks like Charlie, looks like Hudat nine five zero. You know, whoever, and I can sell that to the creator, or, or to to the person that would be the host. Um, and that's 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 the monetization model I came up with, uh, and that's that's ultimate chat trivia. Note that the development cost pretty cheap. Mm-hmm. Um, I did notice. That. I don't need don't need to do any storyboarding. I can use some basic assets. I can do some some basic art stuff. Um, I, it doesn't need a big soundtrack. I can pay a guy twenty bucks and come up with some dramatic waiting music. You know, low low. Point- Low for low cost. To quick shout out to uh, the life and times of Regis Philbin. Yeah. yeah. God rest his soul. God rest his soul. God rest his soul. <laughs> Definitely the best host of Millionaire. He lived. He laughed. He loved. And he could just tell all that in these photos. He picked some great photos to summarize his life. He, he picked it only when he was old. Yeah. It's yeah. The only time he really. Did he even spot the difference. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, okay. I, I've been thinking about this. I look, I think there's potential here. And I want to see if one of my co-hosts wants to go with me on this pivot. Okay. What type of game? Well, actually, you know what this is? This is literally <laughs> hive mind in a box. <laughs> 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 because what I'm realizing is the questions can't be trivia. That's too good. Yeah, you can't do but trivia. If the questions are on opinions of what the rest of the chat thinks. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So maybe the question comes up. Uh, Vanilla or chocolate ice cream. Everybody votes their honest opinion, and then they have to guess what everybody else thought. I I like that. I like I'm that different idea. I think there. that's good. Or well, like think a top six, you, you could... know. Like what, what, what's the best flavor of ice cream? Everyone votes, and then everyone has to guess what they think. You know. I, I'm wondering if there's a chance to do that. Okay, we make it like a, I, just basically a way for other streamers who are not don't have the production capability of like Ludd and Charlie and the whole squad there to just run their own version of Hive Mind almost in a box. You can even brand it. Charlie, I'm wondering if you want to go in on this. Oh, okay. Your face on the box, two thumbs up. <laughs> Hive Mind in a box. Streamers are buying this. They get to live out their dream of being like Ludd and Charlie on a big game show, get their friends. It sort of runs it all for you in a little smaller scale. Now, if that is an interesting idea, Atrioc, and I would be interested in doing this with you, but I would need 51% of equity in this project. <laughs> he's a shark. I knew he's a shark. That's uh, why he's here over Cuban. That's why we had to bump Mark Cuban for Charlie. On the yeah, he, he doesn't have the balls for a play like this. You see, if I'm on the box and we're using Hive Mind, which is, of course, Ludd and I's IP, I would need to be the controlling shareholder, I think. All right. And that, well, if you're the controlling shareholder, you're going to put up the controlling share of the investment money. So give me a number, and I will I will round that down, and I'll pay less than half. Okay. And uh, you could take the majority. So. Uh, I'm thinking we – I think we do this uh, another $50 one. I think we just go a clean 50 here. I like that. Kronos, are you down for a $50 dual shark deal, me and Charlie? I, I am down for the twenty six twenty four dollar twenty six twenty four. I think I think that is a great idea. I think you guys are making a smart investment, and I think the pivot idea is fantastic. And this is why we come to you for the big ideas. Now, right. before you say yes, there is another shark here, and I, I'd like to Connor. Is there anything right. you'd like to uh, get in on? I'm still a little nervous that we're not going to be able to save both boats escaping Gotham City. So I'm going to I'm I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> all right well well I, I appreciate the opportunity to present to you anyway all right Kronos, thank you for your pitch uh appreciate it uh and uh thank, congrats on the investment yeah thank, thanks for having me on thanks for your investment i will see you guys at the board meetings all right thank yeah, you yes. yes i'll see you at the board meetings <laughs> get the developers cracking on this this pivot um all right that was a good one uh we are i think we're at five so we'll do five more and then we'll call it i think that's a pretty good I'm out for this first episode. Appreciate you guys 
uh, bearing with us as judges. Uh, I would like to call up a longtime community member, a man who has basically <clears throat> built the Atriox subreddit on his back. I'm talking, of course, about Hudat950. Not my only black viewer, by the way. He often says that he is. It's not true. I just <laughs> want everyone to know that's not a fact, but he is a esteemed member of the community. And I would like to bring Hudat up and hear his pitch. I thought he sounded like Toby Maguire. No, nah, I, I think Connor was right on. I got Joker vibes too. Is there some C perk? Like, like now? Is he? Yeah, ideally, ideally Hudat, you here? I'm going back to the the set. All right, you know what? If Hudat, if Hudat's not ready or not here, we have a lot of people. So. I actually know that Automated is in here. Automated, uh, basically the, the genius that made half of the Among Us mods <laughs> uh, for Among Us. And Among Us is, again, one of the all-time gaming pillars in the back of our set. So we're going to bring on Auto as Hudat gets ready. Automated, if you're around, please come to the stage. If someone could drag him up. There he is. Auto! Yo! <laughs> Yo! You might know me as dead. number 9050. I'm Automated. I'm a welcome, recoder. welcome. <laughs> Number ninety fifty. Yeah, uh, I, ma you know I made the crazy top 10 can. that you did not make actually millions or billions of dollars from your Among Us mods. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> crazy that you did not make that much money because you I literally think I made about five hundred bucks from that <laughs> in so, total. So did you make all the big ones for uh, OTV like the the? Yeah. Oh no. the, There were definitely better <laughs> mods that came later, but I I was one of the first people who were. Who's really out there? Well, this uh, this is probably unrelated to the upcoming pitch, but I, I think uh, I, I'll give you fifty dollars, and we can maybe find an IP attorney and get maybe a percentage of the video's <laughs> revenue to you or something. That's a good uh, idea. <laughs> yeah, you can get a cut of this guy's toast back profits. <laughs> You're gonna make because you oh, yeah. get every it's single like one of those mods video. you did and ten videos. Yeah. Okay, Otto, uh, let us, do you have any uh, assets you want me to bring up? Or do you want to just well, I actually do have an asset. It's unfortunate. I, I got this commission and the artist was a bit late. Oh, I'll DM you. Okay. Yeah, just, yep, I got it. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, Charlie Connor, please pay close attention to my screen because I'm about to show you um, kind of an earth shaking asset here from Otto for his game pitch. Um, let's pull it up right now. Here it is, um, big fighting game. Oh, wow. Ooh. So already okay, artistically okay. inspired. Uh, please take it away, Otto. Yeah, uh, so first off, I want to start by saying that I am the authority on Smash Brothers. I know every everything about the game, absolutely everything. If you disagree with any of my opinions, you're wrong. Um, so okay. make sure not me to on do that. Smashboards. Um, <laughs> if, if I may, who is the best organization in the Smash community, would you say? <laughs> uh, I gotta go with Connor Esports. Uh, all right, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> we've never right. won. One shot uh, down. I hope you've got a pitch for the rest of us. Yeah, so, you know, we've, we've all been pl playing the new Nickelodeon <laughs> Smash game, and now that it's out, I think the market is finally ready for my genius idea, uh, mm -hmm. which, as you can see, is called Big Fighting Game. Um, so yeah, I'll go through the, the inspirations. Everyone knows Melee. Everyone loves Melee. It's got 26 characters. But the problem is that if you look at competitive history, there's literally five characters that are played. There's, <clears throat> like, if, if anyone plays any character outside of the top five, it's, they're, they're insane. Um, so, you know, too many characters. You don't need 26 characters. Um, and then, you know, they came out with Ultimate, and they have, like, 90 characters now. So, way too many. Um, so my pitch is a fighting game that finally solves that problem. And I did that by adding 23 quadrillion characters. You know, <laughs> obviously Nintendo knows something we don't. More characters, better game. I'm going to make a game, a fighting game, a platform fighter, you know, but with 93 quadrillion characters. Um, so you might ask, how, how does that work? Yeah, um, and the answer is simple. Every single conceivable property of the character is randomized every round. Jump height, weapon, crypto punks. Looks weight, like crypto speed, punks. everything you can think but of. But less stupid. Right? Each character gets a random character, or each player gets a random character. And oh. you might be thinking, right, how is this balanced? Isn't this just going to be RNG whoever wins? You're thinking that, right? 
I was thinking yeah, that. Sure, I was yeah. thinking this sounds like crypto punks or like an NFT yes. kind of thing. I was thinking the same thing, John. I was thinking you can get an NFT of your character. Yeah, there, yeah. there is potential there. Yeah, the there blockchain. Yeah, Integrate NFT, can... NFT support. NFT um, fighters? <laughs> <laughs> um, but the, the, the answer to that is that both players actually get the same character. So what this turns into is instead of just being whoever has played the game longer has the, has the most technical skill, the game is now testing your ability to learn quickly, adapt to new characters and new play styles on the fly while fighting. You get thrown into a round. You have to figure out what your moves are while the same while the while your opponent is also uh, going through the same process. So wh whoever learns their character fastest is going to be able to take the other person down. So is it like a random mode in a Mugen? Uh, Mugen, yeah. I, I am the expert on Smash. I know what that is. Well, it's like a fighting <laughs> game that just has billions and billions of characters people just customly make. Uh, you know, sure. Similar to that, <laughs> except both players get the same character. And there is no blockchain in Mugen. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, th I think there's really a, a missed opportunity there for Mugen. Um, so yeah, as, as the famous Jeff Bezos quote goes, the characters will learn to improvise, adapt, and overcome. Um, <laughs> Old Jeff always saying that. He was always a big Smash guy, so that yeah. does make yeah, sense. He, he was, he yeah. Was. Uh, yeah, so that's that's the that's the gist of the game. It's a random fighting game. There's there's definitely potential for other game modes. Like, say you, you play a best of five, and then whoever won the most rounds gets to choose what character from those rounds they want to play. And then the other player goes after that and then you have like two different characters whoever likes them the best gets to choose which one you know, i'm gonna invest a hundred dollars off the bat uh, purely on two things one is i trust Otto. i think the fact that he didn't get paid for among us is a big mistake and i think he's gonna find a way to get big streamers to play this he's got clout built-in clout on his game number two you have to uh, be on board with this blockchain pivot I think if we just throw around the word blockchain, the word crypto, and the word <laughs> NFTs, we're going to be able to get more million-dollar investment, not even joking, from a bunch of idiot boomers. And then we're going to take that money, we're going to pocket it, and then when the game flops, we're going to be fine. So I am down for my $100 investment to uh, make a tidy profit here, and I'm hoping you will want to go in on it with me, Otto. That sounds sounds pretty good. Uh, anyone else have a deal for me, though? I don't know if I can beat $100. I definitely don't think this is going to be a multiple shark deal because there's no reason for us to be splitting this equity here. This is this is a cash. This is absolutely a cash this cow. This is a cash cow. I don't want to yeah. split this. Yeah, this is a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. when you have you blockchain have possibilities. Potential as well. You get esports orgs forming around this. Well, we could also just completely throw that idea away. We have a good scam here with NFTs and the blockchain possibility. Yeah. We don't need to think beyond e that. Esports is a dead buzzword for investors. They know they lost money on it from Overwatch League, but they hear NFTs, they hear crypto, and their wallets come out. Okay? I think we go all in on that. I think I actually think you create a new character, it's a head-to-head -head fight. Whoever wins that, mints a new AF NFT of that character. Oh, my Whoever God. gets the Ooh. NFT. Can you imagine? <laughs> It auto posts a tweet with your NFT screenshot <laughs> saying, I just minted this 0007 character fighter NFT. Listen, Otto, I'm going to tell you this because I like you and you're a friend. I, I think you should leave all of us right now and just get this exact pitch to face banks. You're going to get a thousand <laughs> times more money and it's just going to be better for you. Over here. Let me tell you, I've got face banks on the follow. We'll hit him with a DM. Let's, let's go on this together, Otto. A hundred dollars right now. I need you to lock it in. All right, I'll, t I'll take it. There we go. Oh. I'm now an investor in big fighting game. Crypto NFT fighter. Yes. God damn. That Some guys get all the luck here. I swear. <laughs> I swear to God. Thanks for the pitch, Otto. Thanks for some Jeffrey uh, and Sam. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me on. Um, Thank you. I really hope he somehow finds a way to make a ton of money because he's such a smart guy. <laughs> And he literally did so much for Among Us, and they eat off his work. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, who that's ready? Okay, who that is now ready? Please bring up who that if you can. Who that nine five zero. Yo, yo. Welcome. Uh, what up? What am I doing? Why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> You're here to pitch a game. To oh, the I'm here host to pitch it. Wait, I'm. Oh. Do you have Damn. a game ready to pitch? 
No, but I can spitball it. We got this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this will test your pitching skills to the Ooh. max. Who dat? All right. I hope you're ready. Right. Please take it away. Here we go. So I've been working on He's this a long bubbly. time. So here's the idea. This is a souls alike. I know. I know you guys. A lot of you. You're already thinking that you're out. But trust me, we're getting into it. Okay. This is a souls alike. But my favorite I'm genre. tying it in to Twitch. Okay. All the bosses are different Twitch streamers. You know, we got some little guys at the bottom like Atriox. Then the top we got XQC. All right. So. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When you watch a Twitch streamer, so for example, if you're watching Atriox, mm -hmm. um, you, once you've watched a certain amount of time of Atriox, you will unlock that boss in the game and you can go fight him. And when you kill Atriox in the game, you unlock a special Twitch emote in Atriox chat mm. that shows that you've like Atriox Slayer or something, you know what I mean? This? You know what I'm saying? Okay, I like this. I like this. It's incentive for the streamers to promote the game as well, so it builds its own marketing. How do you mm -hmm. how do you think mm -hmm. that like you, you don't you need like Twitch's permission to like make an emote connected to the game? Look, here's the thing. I've got connections with Bezos himself. Okay. <laughs> oh wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm actually invited to his Christmas party. It's crazy. Ooh. So we don't gotta worry about that part. I got that part figured out already. But he just wants to. <laughs> Why are he you here? Wants, um, <laughs> okay. Look. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. Good. Bezos, mm -hmm. he's got the connection with Twitch. But you know he's he's been down on his luck recently. I mean, divorce. Yeah. Guy can't catch a break. Divorce. Uh, mm -hmm. He's. I mean, like you know what it is. It's tough he's out gone. here. Prayers it's for really, Bezos. Yeah. yeah. Prayers up, everyone. If you have a Twitch um, Prime right now, it would actually help Bezos so much if you drop a Twitch Prime <laughs> on one of mm -hmm. our three uh, hosts. Every Prime counts to help Bezos get a little bit closer to that mm -hmm. money he lost in that terrible divorce. He actually said if we get 10 Twitch Primes right now in every chat, uh, that this deal uh, will work with uh, the game. So, <laughs> 10 Twitch Primes right now. And we got the deal ready. What a deal. All right, so is that the pitch? Is there anything else we need to know? We'll get uh, asked questions. Thanks for the prime trash. Um, you can ask some questions. Five I guess. That's like the main mark. gist of it, you know? Just keep it short okay. and brief. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> I can tell you had a deep preparation bench here. I had deep preparation. Uh, I'm worried about targeted harassment, okay? I'm worried about people um, constantly going into, like, let's say, Pokemon's chat and spamming they slayed Pokemon with the Pokemon Slayer emote uh, over and over. How how are we... It just feels a little weird to watch a streamer get their character to kill in a video game and then get an emote <laughs> to celebrate that. Right? I'm just, I'm, talk to me about how we're going to make this a little bit safer. You know what? You know yeah. what? Quick change. Quick switch. You actually <laughs> write something. Quick switch. While we are fighting the Twitch streamers themselves, of course, but they have been overtaken by some kind of darkness. We are liberating them from this darkness that has taken them oh, over okay. and returning them back to their original state. All right. Hey, shift this again, okay? It's all YouTube live streamers that are overcome <gasps> by the darkness. Oh! oh. There we, we gotta, go. We gotta bring them home. Now we're cooking. Exit it Prime. Save Tim. <laughs> Yoff Walls and the yeah. recent Mark killing Doofus Tim and, and Doc on Brown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess Bez would be on board at that point. I guess once we're... It's like an anti-YouTube propaganda game. Mm -hmm. All the, like, uh, minor enemies are just, like, the YouTube play button. Just slam. Okay. Now, are we thinking this is going to be a single player experience, or can we like get a group together and go fight Doctor Disrespect together? Or how are we looking at this? Uh, I'm thinking it can be played single player, or you can get a group together because I know Twitch chatters don't have many friends, so mm -hmm. we'll do groups of four, well, four so. group parties. Okay, Got it. that makes That's what sense. I'm mm -hmm. All right, am I sensing any money in the water, sharks? Hmm. Well, so invest in any streaming related thing right now. Yeah, the Souls like is my favorite genre of game, but I am a little concerned with the it being streamer focused. I'm never too keen on those kind of investments. They usually kind of flop. Well, that's actually something I learned from Atriac. He said that uh, Twitch streamers are actually a really big piece of marketing and can uh, help a lot, and really will be the ones to make or break a game. So that's what I was thinking with this. Uh, this uh direction. so wise and so true that guy knows his shit if atrioc likes it i like it i'll throw in a, a cool 50. oh mm. wow 
I will not be following okay. you. You got suckered here. I think you got suckered. Well, he <laughs> he mentioned the sage v wisdom yeah, okay. from Atrioc, and I, I couldn't say no. Yeah, I could say no to my own advice. I don't think Hudak can follow up this pattern, uh, nor this plan, but I do think there may be some potential. I do think the He's biggest money opportunity here is getting Jeff Bezos and Twitch Blackout. on board for an anti-YouTube smear campaign that lasts for one week on a game no one plays and i'm i'm down for that to be the money making idea and i like where your head's at but i think you've already got to deal with moist for 50 dollars. are you going to take it um well here's the thing connor you have you i don't think you've uh said your piece yet what do you think i know not to uh, be a, not to be a greedy gary here no but, no 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 you know. totally i respect that you reach out again but like i don't get it so i'm not gonna invest <laughs> mm, what if we put master chief in the game thoughts <laughs> I mean that'd be cool. That'd be I'd like that. But how like would he be implemented? Okay. Um, he helps so, kill the streamers, yeah. right? What are yeah. you not getting? Yeah, he's like, he plays like, uh, Master Chief. I'll toss him ten bucks. Mm, the Halo game. Deal. <laughs> I've got a lot to think about. Joe, no, you don't have a lot to think about. Take the money and run. They can what? walk at any moment. Who that? You take the sixty dollars. Actually, you, have a you know what? <laughs> you know what? What? You guys are disrespecting me right now. I'm gonna walk. I'm going to Bezos. Oh, I'm Jesus. I'm going to walk, okay? We're gonna it's going to be like, like the right ring now. doorbell of, of our show. Yep, I'm going to walk. Okay, yeah, we All missed right. out on ring. Unless I hear an offer right now. Unless I no, hear another offer right now, I walk. <laughs> you heard me. We did hear you. All right, there's the door, Houdat. Thank you. All right, for... I'm leaving. Thank you for the time, even though it was a waste. Um... I am out of here. Thanks, Arisa. <laughs> no, no, thank All right. That was who that? Uh, Arisa Kenobi. $60 for his on-the-spot idea to put Master Chief fighting Dr. Disrespect in a Twitch streamer based Souls-like. I think it could have been the next big thing. I'm kind of yeah. salty. I think, yeah, I know. I think if we treated him better, we wouldn't have lost him. Uh, all right. We have exactly three pitches remaining. So, Sharks, whatever money you have left in the 500, feel free to spend it. If you don't spend it, it's fine. Um, I will find a way to get into the community. It's it's all from Discord for the community. Thanks again, Discord Stages, for sponsoring this event. Um, we are running this entire talk on Discord Stages in my server. Exclamation point, Discord to join. Um, let's go to... Mm, well, I have some greens here. Neg, Neg, I'll put you up next, but we're going to go with Exter. Exter in chat is talking about a game called Chris Sim. Chris Sim, extra, please come on up, and I will show what we've got. Is that like a Mike Chris Cock Sim. thing? Chris Sim? Chris Sim? <laughs> oh no, I read I read a short description, and I I'm worried about Chris Sim. Extra, are you ready to come up? We have a video. This is gonna be a good one. Oh wow, prototype. Yeah, prototype video. It's a it's a full minute long video with it starts with an explosion, so I'm already very intrigued. Exter, are you ready? We really can't. You know, with the sharks are busy here. We have to make a lot of deals today. <laughs> Exter says in one second. Okay, Exter. He's putting on his suit. Just give um, him a minute. Let me just say we've spent. I think we're under five hundred. We're fine. We're not gonna. We're not gonna. We're not gonna. We'll be fine. Um, a lot of big deals today. Oh, that's what I'm noticing. I don't, I, We're not I watching anything. I'm participating in a shark All tank. this game design talent out there. You know, you just, it's, it's an ocean of good ideas. And we're just we're just dipping our nets in the water. Yeah, you got a real gold mine, though, with that NFT fighter. Like, I think that's going to be a nutty one. <laughs> it's funny because Otto can actually create something. Sure, you <laughs> got the only game dev. <laughs> Non-zero chance that I'm in court in two years trying to get a piece of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like playing my Twitch clips. <laughs> Listen, he said as an investment. As you can see, I, I have majority <laughs> shareholder in the. Clearly, I'm yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sir, look at the set. I mean, that's as real as it comes. Yeah. Um, you guys are gonna be material witnesses, so I please uh, have your uh, weekdays free in about two years to come to court. Extra, you've got to join now, my friend. He's in general. Can someone pull him up? He's. I think he's in there now. Maybe I can even do it. Exter, this is alphabetical. 
The delay is because I'm in Discord, but watching his stream for the video. The way, just to show what I'm talking about on screen. Uh, this is our Discord stage full of hundreds of people uh, with game ideas. And if you'd like to be part of our Discord stage events, we're going to have a couple of them. Please join the Discord. Exclamation point. Atrioc. Uh, stage is a pretty cool feature that Discord has rolled out recently. Uh, Exer, I don't have to go to the next person because um, you do not seem to be ready. So let's go to... Um, Neg Neg, that guy in chat, he'd be nice. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Neg Neg, are you ready? And then we'll go to extra afterwards. It's a private day. Oh, Neg Neg says he's in the chat. Wait, can we pull him up? Uh, uh, uh. Um, oh, is your is your name different than Exter? Oh, it's Benjamin. Oh, his name is Benjamin. Oh, six. Okay, that's the problem. His name's Benjamin. How do I find... Ben? You think the Chris Sim is a Chris Chan simulator? That would be kind of nuts. Thanks for some garbage. Extra. We got nothing here for you, brother. I'm pulling up Neg Neg. Can I call him to the stage? It's a Twitch shark, shark Tank. So we're investing in game ideas from Atriox community. Chat? Well, I, I don't know. Moderation I'm one of the sharks. Do it? So far, I've only invested in two. Thanks this is just like real Shark Tank. With a, <laughs> we invited the extra. Actually, you've been invited. you got to join. Thanks to Prime Crispy. I'm taking $10 off my pitch, no matter what it is, <laughs> for, <laughs> for the amount of time you're taking. Yeah, it's real money. It's oh, Atriox right. money. Hello? Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm you. so okay, sorry. Great. I'm so sorry. I'm dumb and stupid, and I couldn't figure out how to do it. I'm so dumb. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, well, good, good start to the pitch. All right. The new Exer, no worries. to get in here sometimes. We're back. Uh, this, yeah, it's fine. Um, Exer, <laughs> please tell us about your game, Chris Sim. Uh, yeah. So Chris Sim is basically a game that goes through uh, the life of Chris Pratt, and it is a 3D oh, platformer Chris Pratt developed by Nintendo. But I'm Nintendo, so I own it. Um, I'm out. <laughs> I'm also not super excited with the company here. No, but understand, understand. It's Nintendo, but the ending O is a zero. It's different. Okay. It's different. It's okay. just for the brand okay. recognition. Really distinct. Got it. It's just okay. for the brand recognition. Don't worry, don't worry. So basically, it's a 3D platform where you go through Chris Pratt's life up into the point where it's a crossover. At the end, he voices Mario. And you just jump through the you jump through the levels. There's there's many different levels there's to explore. Some Very immersive world, and uh, lots of enemies, lots of controversies to to go through, but you know, <laughs> he eventually you succeeds. Over controversies. At what yes. point do you follow Ben Shapiro on Twitter? Uh, that's about halfway through the game. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a big that's a big point. <laughs> uh, you have a video here. Should I play it? Yes, yes. Okay. That is my video. Uh, if you guys want to unmute the stream if you're watching, I want to play a video. And it is a minute long about Chris Sim. I'm going to play right now. Long about Chris Sim. I'm going to play right now. Oh. Pretty good so far. That's Chris, by the way. Developed by us, Nintendo, looking to give you a great gameplay experience. It's looking pretty good. Is there some talkie? Mario. We've been putting a lot of time into this game. You know, it's been uh, delayed five times. Thanks to Prime Marty. It's a little quiet. Okay. 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 <laughs> Jesus. Special effects budget is out of this world. Yeah, yeah. Now that was gameplay footage, so am I to assume Chris Sim is going to be 
you live action, like full movie video, or what, what, are, what are we talking here? No, so, so what you need to understand is using NVIDIA ray tracing, we mm. made the character models look so, so accurate to real world life that that's actually not me. That's that's Chris just in a, you know, just the, the camera so has he, he 10 pounds. They the he was involved in the trailer, yes. Okay, so but I'm going to tell you this right now. You have, better, you have a better chance yeah. of getting this funded by real Nintendo because all I need to do is just get Chris Pratt to tell Miyamoto, like, I want to make a game, and he'd probably do it because that's how he got the <laughs> voice cool. acting role. Yeah. yeah, he just thinks he's cool. <laughs> yes, well, well, that actually, that wasn't, it wasn't Chris in the trailer. It was our real world, real life looking model of Chris. Right, but Chris is involved. Right. Yeah. He's voiced he's a few that. lines. Okay. Okay, great. Yeah, so I heard that, the Mario one. Yes. Okay. So I don't know what Metal Trucks are thinking. Where, where are you guys? Where are your heads at on this one, Chris Sim? Uh, as cool as Chris Pratt is, I've got to say, and he is I, cool. I'm not sold on his ability to make it in the video game world. He doesn't strike me as a gamer. I mean, I'll, I will just as a quick counterpoint. He does have guns in in very very many Marvel movies, I believe, mm -hmm. and that that's a point. There is a so it it is a 3D platformer. But Whoa. at, at some point in the game, guns. it transitions. It transitions into a first-person shooter for a small portion of the game, where he shoots uh, various aliens and other stuff. When does Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong come in? How does he factor into this game? He's he's a mini boss mm -hmm. near the end. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The final boss, Shigeru Miyamoto. Okay, that's interesting. That's odd because he's he's like a fan of Chris. Why would Chris be trying to kill Shigeru Miyamoto? Parasocial not, relationships. Par <laughs> that's, 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 that's mm -hmm. so He's just saying buzzwords, but I'm, I'm just, it's getting me. Yeah, yeah, these are some very good buzzwords. <laughs> you guys are on board with that. <laughs> <laughs> He's got me now. <laughs> He's got you hooked. <laughs> well, yeah, he has the advantage of coming near the end. I mean, we have money to burn. Does anyone want to invest in Chris? Do you have any pivots you can make? You guys are sharks after all. You have great video game ideas. Could you... Could you fix this? Could you tailor this? Well, you said this is not official Nintendo. This is a, a different company all, in, all, all entirely? It's partnered in a way, but no, not, not official Nintendo. Mm. Just just because uh, basically the point is we, we hit up Nintendo. We were like, yo, what's up, Nintendo? Mm -hmm. we, we saw you release Sora. We think you're doing great things. Okay. And then we're going we're gonna to get your money, your funding. Well, not, not their money, their funding, but we're going to get your assets, essentially. And right. uh, but but they're not going to get any of the profits because we're scamming them, right? We don't like Nintendo, we but don't. we're using their IP. It's we like it's like it's like a Project M didn't fail. We do not like Nintendo. I do like what you're saying. Like, set aside the game for a minute. We don't like Nintendo. We don't like Nintendo, but we like their IP, and I think everybody can agree with that. We we don't like Nintendo. Is the what mainly what I'm That's hearing. That's the main takeaway that Charlie's having here. I want Chat to realize that we do not like Nintendo. Okay. 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 I do like uh, what I'm hearing I'm there. I'm seeing a lot of tricks. I don't like Nintendo. Right. See? That's so you're ideologically appeal. aligned with this sort of video game I'm seeing. Yes. Yeah. I think, honestly, I'm not going to invest. I'm going to keep it a buck. But I do think that if you change this thing to be the first strand type platformer, I think you've got a game on your hands. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Yeah, well. Mm, of course. <laughs> I understand that fully. No, I, I think it'd be okay. a, a very much in the Strand's uh, philosophy to yeah, answer that question. I understand. Yeah, of course. I'm a little bit behind. Okay. Yeah. Can I can I pitch a pivot? And I will be down because I have a little bit of money to burn here. And I think uh, I'm feeling wild. I think I'm going to make so much money on the crypto profits. <laughs> I'm willing to take gambles. So, sure. listen. I want this to be a one-to-one -one remake of Mario 64. It's a Mario game. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Just with Chris Pratt fully realized as the man, like doing BLJs, He's a prime saying equip. it's a me Mario in his voice, saying so long gay Bowser in his voice. I literally want a one to one on new platforms Mario 64 with Chris Pratt. No other changes. Do I cut the first person shooter aspect? You can leave that in uh, when you get 70 stars. <laughs> all right, all right. Dope, 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 dope. <laughs> and I will give you a whopping $20 for this. Are you in or out? It's a 10 second deal. You have to answer in 10 seconds. Mm. Deal. Or I'm, I'm in. I'm in. Okay. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> I'm making moves today. God. I'm making moves today. I'm reeling in the fishes. Okay. All right. Extra. Uh, we're locked and cocked. I get started the work. I need you to uh, email Nintendo today, basically, to tell them that we're stealing their assets. 
Oh, I'm and good friends. Could... I'm good friends. With Xavier said, yeah, Shody. Don't like it, but I'm good friends. A group DM with Chris Pratt so we can make sure that he's good to voice the lines. That would be great. Mm -hmm. Chris Pratt is actually my long lost uncle. So it's, it's chill. All oh, wow. Details. There's just so much yeah, learning. Just, yeah, he's very yeah. deeply connected yeah, to the I'm Nintendo actually, properties. I'm actually a character in the, in the, in the video game. He's just no as, like, better person character. for the job, I'm noticing. There's, you clearly are the right man for this game. The right man at the right time. Uh, all yes. right. We have two more pitches. Uh, extra thank you for your time. All right. Appreciate thank that. you. See you later. Thanks for the Next reset. Up, we have uh, Neg Neg. I'm gonna. Do I have time to tinkle real quick before he uh, gets to the set? Tinkle. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna get a, uh, some water, and then we will do the final two. Let's get them ready though, so we can. Perfect. Real quick. So I'm thinking Neg Neg. Right if you are up, all right, he's muted. Perfect. And for the last one, mods, if we could get, there's a lot of good options here. I'm gonna say big dog. Billery? Billery squinting? Oh, wow. Um, no, wait. Ax uh, Billery, I have to hold on that one just because I know your game, and they're not going to want to invest in it, and I am. And they have some money to spend. So let's get a game that they would be interested in playing. All right, Connor, I'm going to read you some titles, okay? Actually, I'm okay. going to read you some titles, and I want you to decide. Okay. Okay? We have a game called Shrek versus Eminem. Give me that one. <laughs> okay. All right, that's a two-person pitch. Liam and Josh, you guys will be up next with Shrek versus Eminem. <laughs> We're not even. And then, and then uh, Matt X and P has one called Bagged and Tagged Vengeance. That next maybe one? we could we could also do. Uh, we could do those two, and then we'll that we'll oh. call it. Get it again? Okay. Um, after Neg Neg, when Charlie gets back, Bagged and Tagged Vengeance sounds cool. Sounds up my alley. We haven't had many shooters today, I'm noticing, outside of body shot. If I don't end up giving any more money, can I just give the rest of my 500 to the teddy bear one? You can, and I will happily. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. All right, you ready? All right, Neg Neg, take it away. With your game, uh, actually, I don't have a list of your game here, so please tell me what your game is. Oh, is he muted? Wait, you were in here a second ago. Can you bring Neg Neg in? There he is. Okay. And I'm muted. Neg Neg, how you doing? He's a uh, server muted. You know, server mute him. Uh, mute, unmute. Hmm? Mods, you got Neg Neg server muted. <laughs> the teddy bear game is definitely the best so far. I, I can't. I don't have the power. I'm only the admin of the server. Why yeah, can't we, don't, I we don't know how to do that. Well, you can probably do it if you're the admin. I'm right clicking on his name. It just says he's not muted. I'll, I'll <laughs> show it on screen. Look at this. Neg Neg, what's going on? Tell him to join a, join a voice chat. Neg Neg, and they'll drag you out. Oh, oh, join a voice chat, and they can unmute you. That's what it is. Join a voice chat, Neg Neg. No, like a, like one of these, like general or something. And they'll unmute you. Why was he server muted? I don't know. I'm worried. <laughs> I'm worried because he also doesn't have any. Uh... <laughs> he doesn't have a note. Everyone nope. else had like assets. All right. Neg Neg, are you ready? Oh, boy. Oh, no. It's going to be a good game. That's my personal mute. I muted him. He wasn't. No, he's muted to you guys too, right? Yeah, I didn't hear him. Yeah. Okay. Um. If mods are figuring that out, can we pull up uh, Matt XMP with the game Bagged and Tagged Vengeance? Oh, that's a good name. Yeah, that one sounds good. I'm excited for it. And chat was sort of spamming Matt XMP. Thanks, Resub Ruby. There, right. Matt, welcome. Ajax Sharks, how are y'all doing today? Um, a lot of pitches so far, you've heard. Um, I think I think this could be the best. I don't want to get ahead of myself here. I <laughs> mm -hmm. think that this could be the best. Um, is there any way to see what slide y'all are on? Or Oh, let me pull up your slide. Yeah, you can have the stream open, and I will tell you. You just tell me whenever you want me to go to the next slide. I'm pulling up your document right now. All right, I did add some... 
very high level uh, slide transitions, so those might be a bit of a trick for you considering the age difference. But I, I right. think you can get to it. Um, <laughs> So oh, there's not flashing colors, me. right? No flashing colors. All right, he'll be uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> we have. Oh, I, you know what? I have to not present this because I have to highlight your text. <laughs> why okay, is it bad. White? Why is it because white? I, I had have it black. A, I, I know, had a black it's, background. It's not your fault. I it's, had a black it's... background. Yeah, I forced this, this dark sounds mode. Like <laughs> this sounds like collusion. This sounds like collusion. You forced dark mode. I'm going to turn you up because it's a little bit quiet. Um, all right. Um, all right. Take it away when you're ready. I will, I, will, uh, I will highlight all your text. Don't worry about that. All right. Uh, first of all, whoever changed my background color, you will pay. Secondly, sharks. This is bagged and pegged vengeance. And as great as some of the games have been today, they all are, in hindsight, terrible in comparison to this. The next big thing in video gaming. Uh, next slide, please. Okay. Um, so... <laughs> Probably gonna have to, have to I, change the font yeah, color. I'm, I'm gonna do it I on all by, of them. I, I don't want to change the font. No, it's my fault. Oh, don't worry about it. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, in um, fact, you know what? I I might. <laughs> okay, we'll just go side I by side. It. All right. Um. So yeah, you got it. At the end of the day, I am by no means a gamer. Um. But me and my practical <laughs> I'm out. scientists. Is it your own Queef? Really important in gaming, and that's making. Good name, Queef Testosterone. Yeah. Thank you. So what we've done. In my anti-vax group, is we have simulated gaming down to its essence. One, manly men. Everybody wants to feel macho, right? Everybody mm -hmm. wants to feel like the big guy. I'm th sure you three sharks can relate. You're called macho all the time. You really are symbols of masculinity. Um, two mm -hmm. is um, booba. Okay. Oh, you can click forward to that, Atrioc. Mm -hmm. um, I I don't think I need to explain. Mm -hmm. Three is like the big thing for gamers, it's microtransactions. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. I have never talked to a gamer, but if I had, I am sure that they would sing the praises of microtransactions. It's a win-win. The devs get the money from the players. Mm -hmm. I love the that. players get to give money to the devs. Mm -hmm. I love that. It's, it's, it's like that. both sides, really. Um, I'm seeing a lot of positivity from chat. I'm seeing a lot of positivity. Okay. You, you look forward to the next yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna just um, fix your uh, chat every time, your messages. So... I, I do apologize for that, but you can get a bit of a idea no of what's going on here. This is our protagonist. Uh, oh, I really wanted just, to make him. Is that just a, my emo, uh, my no, froggy? But from scratch, I, I assure you, sharks. It's, it's just the froggy, but with a MAGA hat on, Connor, with a he gun. Was model from scratch, he Connor. Oh. Scratch to be an American man, Richard Dick Johnson. He is <laughs> God fearing. He sleeps with a constitution mm. by his bed. He rides a motorcycle with no helmet. He kills zombies, and most importantly, he has a hot girlfriend. If we can click to that slide real quick. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't really have budget here. So the girlfriend is literally just two tits. Um, is that oh. the RuneScape flower? Like the flowers in RuneScape? Uh, no, it is a tit. Um, is it? Oh, it's a bird. It's a, it's a good bird. A tit. Um, it is a tit. And what we have found through uh. is that by simplifying, we were able to spend just 10% of the money and get 99.7% okay. of the enjoyment. Out of okay. Play. Um, we can click forward to the next slide. For Sounds like a Nintendo song. game. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, well, we can't talk about that because we do have a console exclusivity deal. Not to get too far ahead here, we do okay. have a console exclusivity deal. Oh, you are one slide too far ahead, Atria. Oh, sorry. Um, there <laughs> sorry. it is. We do have a console exclusivity deal with the Ouya. Um, which is we can't hear. I don't know. He's just very quiet. Um, okay. Let's talk about some mechanics, right? There are zombies. Tell me about the tell me about the gameplay. Yeah. Okay. Everybody loves zombies, hands down. Um, it's first person shooter. Don't have to look at yourself. Everybody loves that. Single player. You don't need friends. I've heard okay. that. I've heard some complaints from chat. Makes me some Mac. I like that. Yep. You don't need friends. We have ultra HD graphics. This is 720p HD. This is cutting edge. Um, there. While we do have a console exclusivity deal. We want it to be available to everybody on PC. So it's on Steam, it's on Epic Games, it's on G2A, right? It's everywhere. A game the big three. Mm -hmm, exactly. Um, we took years and years of research to add pissing mechanics to the game. Second of its Duke kind. Duke Nukem. Yeah, Duke Nukem did it first. Mm -hmm. Second of exactly. its kind. Yeah, still. Mm -hmm. We don't want to take... Obviously, Fast follow. Rights. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we did want to synergize, right? We wanted to circle back synergize. So synergize with that pissing mechanic is root beer available in the game. Okay. You heard that right. Root beer. Is available in the game. Now, will it function similar to the monster energy in Death Stranding? 
Yeah. <laughs> Unit function similarly, yes, except it only makes your piss brown. Um, okay. okay. Oh, man. Okay. Now, is it, if I may, this root beer mechanic is pretty impressive to me. If Are the root beer mechanics pre-rendered cutscenes for consuming the beverage, or is it like an actual in-game item that I can freely consume when I'm hungry and thirsty? Good question. I do not understand the words you are saying, but from my team, I am hearing that. Um, it is all done on the spot. It is available fully to you okay. whenever you want to drink it. In, in engine gameplay, root beer. Yeah, okay. Gameplay. Gotcha. Exactly. Yep. Okay. We really are pushing the boundary here. And most importantly, about it's not so much the gameplay, partially the story. The protagonist learns nothing. Learning is a beta trait. Thanks, Reset Matthias. Mm. Okay. So I want to circle back to the root beer again. Pardon to, to belay the point, but I just feel like it's such an important key pivot part of the gameplay. Mm. Exactly. Um, when I first played Monkey Ball, and I loved that game on the GameCube, one thing that hooked me and kind of made it fun and inspiring was that the bananas were all branded with Dole. Mm. I don't know if you remember that. I'm wondering here is this root beer going to be a mug root beer or more of a barks root it's beer? a very effective strategy too big game i just say because yeah. while, while you played monkey ball when you were like 25 i was like five years old um, right and i when i thought dull bananas were like the only banana because that was just what i saw in the game i was like oh that's just what a banana is uh sharks can you clarify are dull mm -hmm. bananas not the only kind of bananas well, there's Chiquita bananas and... There's Chiquita. Hold on, I need to Google something. Well, Chiquita... Well, this may help you jog your memory. Okay. Chiquita bananas actually have an entire ride at Epcot. You can go through We Live Off the Land it's by Chiquita oh. Bananas. And you get to go on a little boat and learn about how we live off the land. And then it takes you through a little greenhouse. Hold on, let me make some notes here. Chiquita, I like that that would jog his memory. <laughs> like Chiquita, <he's> not <laughs> a boat company. Okay. Okay. So, um... So they are branded. Now, frankly, Bargs, um, Mug, Barks. they are in a kind of peaceful treatise, so we didn't Thanks want you to Brian. interrupt that. Instead, we're calling both of them pussies and partnering with A&W Root Beer. Um, okay. It will be okay. A&W branded Root Beer. Okay. And you can go to the next slide. This is a bit of a shorter one here. This is just some of the beautiful sights we can see in the game. We really want to take the people on a tour mm -hmm. of America. So uh, we picked what we thought were the three greatest places in America. Alabama. New Jersey, oh. and, and just the really shitty parts of Texas, uh, like mostly wow. around the border. Now, let's talk about money, because let's be honest here. Gameplay, second. Nobody gives a shit. Money is where it's at. Okay. So, first of all, let's talk about, and you can go to the next slide, microtransactions. I'm all, yep. I, I don't see that. I see a graph showing the price of Dogecoin. If you could explain that. Oh, you're on that. the slide before the slide I'm on. Okay, so that was kind of a personal thing. So you have to spend money to make money. That's what I wanted to talk about here. Mm -hmm. So um, Dogecoin, a lot of people, this is just how our company is forward thinking, right? So a lot of people will tell you buy low, sell high. But that's what they yes. want you to think. That's what they want you to think. The real secret is buy high. Have your money roll down the money mountain. That's what the curve is. A lot of people don't know the technical term. Roll down the money mountain, gain momentum, and then it goes even higher. And then you sell it when it's even higher. So, roll down the money you, mountain. Yeah. You know, maybe, maybe heard that term. Yeah, that. I've heard that. Yeah, that's powerful. I think Warren Buffett said that in his Warren Buffett, yeah. book on he investing. He does steal a lot yeah. of his ideas from me. Yeah, I, I've uh, heard yeah. that a lot. Okay, next slide. I'm next on this slide, one. Yeah. I, yep, mm -hmm. yep. So. I, I actually do apologize about the text being white. It's no back. problem. It's my fault. Black so. background on my All right. Screen. There you go. I got so, it. You did miss a slide again. I don't like it. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Tell me about it. Stand at your age eyesight, but you got this, man. Uh, so let's talk about microtransactions. Now, a lot of people don't love microtransactions. I mean, obviously, people love microtransactions, but it's a pain to stop and pay for stuff. So we try to limit it to things gamers won't necessarily use. Sprinting shooting the gun <laughs> okay. soundtrack okay uh, just to be clear i am spending money to move and shoot the gun in an fps well hold on you're not spending money the consumer is spending money and the money goes to you I, as the consumer if i'm yeah as okay consumer. yeah yeah i understand as an investor i get the value as the gamer um so you've hooked me in i guess as the gamer because i get to play as a buff macho dude with a girlfriend Exactly. Who is literally a disembodied pair of floating breasts? Yes. Are you interested? Oh, <laughs> I, I am also yeah. a bit curious here. So yeah. you mentioned gameplay isn't that important. Is there gameplay, and is it mainly just drinking root beer, or what does the gameplay look like? 
have you seen the game Duck Hunt? Duck Hunt's a classic, yeah. yeah of course. Imagine of course. that, but instead of ducks, there are zombies, and you have a can of root beer. So like me as a per like 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 me, I'm playing Duck Hunt while drinking root beer, or like my character in game is drinking root beer. Because Duck Hunt we is more. We want to give options to the player. Okay. Can drink root beer or the character can drink root beer. So. Well, because with Duck Hunt, it's there's not really like a character in there. It's like you pointing the gun at the screen. Yeah. It's like yeah. the yeah. human being well, is the player. Well, it, it, it's really philosophical if you think about it. I think it was Socrates who said, "Who is the player?" but yourself so mm -hmm. like, that's actually quite powerful yeah. i was off and now i'm sort also, of coming back on i may have missed the sharks the game is 80 dollars um up front um, yeah next gen prices i would imagine yes, exactly. next gen yeah of course <laughs> exit resub silent it's and quality and duck hunt level graphics won't come cheap yeah well i wouldn't say duck hunt level graphics i'd say have you seen et for the atari 2600 <laughs> <laughs> who hasn't no <laughs> classic. A classic a classic game to be sure so like imagine that okay like, wait I'm tell me about this next three. slide because i i want you to i want to make sure you get your full pitch out before we hit our timer mm -hmm. um uh, yeah, next slide um, tell me about this one with the with the with the what people miss when they play video games so people always miss one thing it's something i think every single person loves unilaterally it's pain oh i don't have money or rest I don't, <laughs> don't have water someone said then to uh, go to my I was just about to take a drink of water and give him my rent for the month. Now, we have added that feature in a revolutionary new way where you uh -huh. can rent DLC. For example, oh. I, I left an example here for your interest sharks. Jimmy wants to rent the ability to watch cutscenes above 144p for only $20. <laughs> There is literally an EA employee in my chat, like salivating. I was gonna <laughs> like, say, you just said rentable DLC, and like <laughs> that's like that's a new sentence, and suddenly people are like, wait a minute. <laughs> The fucking Andrew Tomlinson or whatever CEO of EA is fucking dictating every word you're saying as you're you say seeing, it. You're, you're seeing yeah. the vision. You're, you're seeing the vision. Here. I, I get it. <laughs> so, yeah, this is forward thinking, and it's going to make you a shit ton of money. You are literally going to be able to wipe with money, <clears throat> and that is a promise. I guarantee it. Oh, uh, that's interesting, Colt. And thanks to the Prime here. Batman. Sure, I just you did say you could rent the ability to watch cutscenes above 144p. Yes. And uh, all rent has interest, so yes. every hour you play on the DLC, you have to spend a little bit more money. I like I like where your heads at for all this stuff. All right, this is the, mm -hmm. the last two slides. All right, last two slides. Let's, yep. Uh, so it. this one is sticking. sticking. Um, so okay, why should you invest? First of mm -hmm. all, money out the ass. We've been over this. Money yep. literal, literally pouring out of every single one of your orifices. Two, okay. This took a lot of effort. It took a lot of man hours. We will get your name in the credits. Huge. And this is big. The credits move. <laughs> okay. This costs, okay. This costs us all of our budget. That's why I'm here. And that's planned uh, for launch? Um, it, it will be added post-game as uh, DLC. Uh, right. In-game house. <laughs> we will be adding an in-game house for you. Now, the house serves no in-game purpose, but it will be there. Okay. Um, now, most importantly, we added mechanics to make the players grind. Now, you may say, how does this benefit you, um, Sharks? Well... It instills the Sigma grind set in the players, which will obviously be your viewers. Sigma Good for grind the future of more the country. Money, more money to donate to you. Mm. And most importantly, Booba. Yes. So where did, that. that's something that I'm a little curious. Where does that come into play? So I'm picturing E.T. meets Duck Hunt and Root Beer. But where is my girlfriend? Chat, I'm Next pulling question. up a picture of Duck Hunt right now. <laughs> Next question. Is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> okay so i i've sort of mocked up we got the game here and maybe we could pull up a picture of an a and w root beer uh-huh and mm -hmm. hopefully this will help just everyone in chat visualize what we're seeing okay i'm gonna open this yeah and then now i do feel like the graphics are a bit too high quality there because you maybe add like a heavy mosaic blur on it right well i uh -huh. just so like this so we've got like an a and w root beer off to the side and you want me to blur this more. Okay. I, all right. I think we understand what we're pitching here. I want to see if sharks are interested. Cause I see, I, I do smell dollar signs mm -hmm. and I want to know who's on board or if they have any pivots they'd like to make to make this game a little more palatable to the consumer. Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a no from Connor. Is uh, that a no moist. That you don't want to pursue or is that a no? And is in it's already perfect. Don't need to pivot thousand up front uh next question 
<laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I'm also an out here, uh, Matt X and P. And I think it's because your idea is is really solid. There's a lot of money to be made. I don't see how I can add value is what it is. As an investor, <laughs> I always want to be able to add value. And the only thing I could think of is making developers crunch harder. But that's that's hard it's when the game is so simple to make. So week, seven days. Okay, see, that's what I, I have no value to add. So, Charlie, I don't know if you have anything to say, but otherwise we can go to our last guy. Yeah, I think this is really bulletproof. I, I don't think what you need is investment. I think you just need to start getting the team together. They'll probably just do it for the love of the idea, to be honest. Well, we don't have any game developers on, per se. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, why would you? Right, yeah, why exactly. would you need one? It's mostly just <laughs> me and my um, elderly grandmother, but I feel like we're going to really crack this out. And um, I thank you for your advice, Sharks. And let me say, um, not investing in this will be the biggest mistake of your life. It will come back to haunt you. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> well, good luck with a bagged and tagged violent <laughs> retribution. I think I, this I may be one. Title. Yeah, I, this may be one we look back on in a couple of years yeah. and really kick we'll ourselves deep for. Deep regret. A hundred percent. All right. Well, at that point, we have prepared ourselves, I think, for the grand finale. Now, I have one question. Is Neg Neg ready? If not, I have another choice. I'm ready. And that is... I'm ready, Atriox. Oh, he's ready. He's ready. I'm ready. I'm in here. All right. All right. Neg Neg, do you Hello, have a link sharks. for me? Anything you want what? me to put up? There was, there was one thing that I linked. It was just an image. It should be... You it can should just be DM attached. me if you want it's to. the Prime Frostfire. Okay, DM you. Okay, give me one. Yeah, if you have that link, just DM me right now. We have our, our chat open. Neg Neg. Again, big part of the stream. And he seems excited. I like his energy. Hoping he can bring a fantastic closer idea to the inaugural episode you know what? of Stream I don't Sharks. need it. I don't need the link. I don't wow. Need it. Powerful okay, okay. okay. Wow. All right. I'm walking in the room. All right. All right. Audio only. Discord stages. Neg Neg, take it away. All right. So my game is this mm -hmm. great idea. It's going to be a cash cow. But not only does it have great gameplay, great gram fix, it has a lot of cool other things too. The game is called... Five Nights at Among Guys, Fortcraft Prime Cloud Corn version. So the idea of the game is it's a platformer, social deduction, survival FPS, Madden-like tycoon, open world RPG, strand type, medieval Ooh. futuristic rhythm, Dark Souls-like racing, strategy, psychological horror game. And you might be thinking, how do these all add up, right? <laughs> you know, there's never been something done like this. I've been talking to my good friend, Hideo Kojima. We've been working oh. on it in the shop. Ooh. Been, I knew uh, I knew his name might have been involved. <laughs> yeah. This been, smells like a Kojima project. <laughs> yeah. He's been mentoring me for years. We've been working on this. Um, is there a sub drum? It's just really great idea. So in this game, you will star as Dom Toretto, played oh, by okay. Vin there Diesel. It is. Okay, so this okay. is this is amazing. Like we got him already. He's already signed on. It's all done. No questions. Wait, hold so on. You got Vin Diesel, or you got a guy that's just we Dom got Toretto? We got Vin Diesel. We got Dom Toretto. Yeah, Diesel. I was making sure. <laughs> okay, Vin. No, we got right. Vin Diesel. Don't worry, boys sir. in. Okay, family. Um, I like that. Yeah. So this game really makes you feel like him, though. Putting you in the uh, the foot of, the shoes of him playing Iron Man. He's playing Iron Man, and you explore the world of Hogwarts. It's very cool. So. What you might be wondering is, what is the price of this game? It's free. It's a free-to-play mm. game. But mm, you're waiting. I like that. Wait, wait, wait. I like that. Wait, it's free-to-play, but everything is locked behind microtransactions and paywalls. So, mm. to access the real game, you know, you get these kids in. You give them a couple free loot boxes and stuff, you know. Get it in their hands. They're going to open them. And, you know... As marketing works, it's your one. Hey, this is tier one, Andy. They're addicted. They're already addicted this to gambling. It's like the people right. on Twitch that, gambling right. on stream. You know. Hope you're doing well. Uh, it works wonders for the for the casinos. So we're here, right? Yeah, we're with here. These mic with these micro transactions, I'm prepared to offer you a 50% share of all micro transactions made on the game. Nope, 75 or I'm out. 75? Mm -hmm. He's a shark. 60 and we got a deal. 65 and I'll continue to listen to the pitch. 65. 64. Uh, I'll budge. 64. It's a gamer number. I like that. <laughs> 64, right. Nintendo. All right. So. Okay. Okay. So, so can we ask questions or you have yeah, more sure, pitch? Sure, 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 sure. No, up. if you have a pitch, keep, keep doing no, 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 I, I want to. No. Okay. I want to hear what you have to say. All right. So listen. Five Nights in Among Guys Fortcraft. That's a mm -hmm. title that I, yep. I can get behind. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of, for some reason, I'm just drawn to it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the audience will be too. Um, you mentioned Microsoft Actions. You mentioned the gameplay. You mentioned Vin Diesel, Family, Hogwarts, <laughs> and Iron Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I have only one question. How so is this at all different from the video game Roblox in any way? So it's I, different I, than <laughs> Roblox? You know, think about Roblox, right? That's okay. a game made for little babies. <laughs> that this is a game, baby game. This yeah. game is rated yeah. E for everybody, but it has adult content in it. We found a way to weasel around <laughs> ESRB, and um, it's rated E for everyone, but there is adult content in the game. The kids are going to love it. It's like um, an Aiden Ross stream. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly like Aiden Ross. What kind of, a, if you don't mind me pressing this a bit further, what kind of adult content could we expect as a player? Um, well, you know, it depends on what content you're willing to pay for, obviously. Obviously, right. there's some, you know, some nudity, mm -hmm. some violence, mm -hmm. some blood, some gore, mm -hmm. you know. We got some adult humor, etc. But and we were able to sneak this by the ESRB. This sounds like a, yep. a drastic oversight. Yep, we, we okay. were able to sneak it by them. Um, I don't ask well, me how it wasn't. When Kojima's involved, like, you get your way. Yeah, yeah. true. Kojima's I forgot Kojima's He's got that kind here. of pull. He's got yeah. that kind of pull for yeah. sure. Yeah. So we got all that. Any more questions? I don't I have. I think any we need to talk dollar bills mm -hmm. here. Dollar bills. All right. Okay. All right. So right off the bat, I know that Charlie's already got a deal, or he's not have a deal, but he's at least optioned sixty four percent of the microtransaction income. Mm -hmm. Is there a money amount that you want to tie to that? Is there a? I, mean, I believe that was a question more for me. That's so so this is what I'm thinking here. Yeah. I think you've got a good idea. There's things I would change here. First of all, I'd need to know: is this a community driven game? Is the community able to make this kind of content similar to Roblox, or is it this um, yes, just you? But when they monetize it, seventy five percent of the profit goes to us. And then of that 75%, I get 64%. Correct. Okay, that's a pretty good deal. Do you guys realize that is less price gouging than actual Roblox? <laughs> Your <laughs> fictional game that takes yeah, I was gonna less, say, we should really step has it a up. better sub-split than, than actual Roblox. <laughs> you are scamming children less. <laughs> well, you know, I'm just a good guy. I'm looking out for the community. <laughs> oh, it's, okay, I got you. That's you I can't right. stoop down to that low, you know. Okay, Roblox I love that. Just, I love that. Okay. Yeah, this really seems like a game by gamers for gamers. To me, it sounds like this will be the last game you ever need to play. It's got pretty much everything. I'm willing to put a put a hundred dollars in on this. Holy shit! Oh, Holy shit! Connor, are you uh, are you trying to go halves? Are you trying to get involved? Where, where are you at for this uh, one, Connor? What I Kojima, like about remember? this game, you know, and I think you should make this a tagline is there's a little something for everybody, you know, like it, it, there's something for oh, everybody in this game. And I absolutely. think that everybody's been looking for that. Uh, Charlie, I'll toss in uh, $8 into your offer. I <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I think, yeah, maybe, maybe a combination of the two. Like what about a, like okay. a have it your way kind of deal? Oh, yeah, that's not, <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Literally like Burger King's talking. No, 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 no. Who's Burger King? No, no, no. This is Among Guys. Among Guys, remember? Among yeah. Guys, yeah. Fortcraft. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, I don't think I'll need to be involved. Wait, wait, wait. But, but you, Atriok, you owe me money. Where's my money? <laughs> well. Like, I need the money. Like, my family... My family needs the money. Thanks, there's a butt sniff. And Negdig has to go, unfortunately. Please. And we, we Thanks, him. <laughs> There is no uh, schedule. All right, though. we have a deal with Connor and Moist for $108 for a majority share of Five Nights at Among Guys Fortcraft, which was our final title of the evening. Wait, what about uh, the Shrek and Eminem game you told me oh, about? Oh, I'm sorry. There is one more Shrek versus Eminem. Uh, I did <laughs> promise. we. Uh, Connor read a list of titles where you were, where you were tinkling, uh, Charlie, mm -hmm. and there was one that really stood out to him. That is Liam and Josh pitching Shrek versus Eminem. I think we do have to hear one more pitch. Shrek versus Eminem. If we could bring up Liam and Josh, that is Horsebox and Josh. Mm. Uh, moderators, that would be good for a final pitch. Ooh, that's a pretty big deal, Chaos. PowerPoint for the grand finale. Oh my God. This does look good. I, I cannot lie. Just from the opening slide, I feel like I'm... Oh, that was great. This is very impressive. Did you announce that Connor and I were going to be on this show, or did he put this together, like, in the heat of the stream? Uh, I did announce. No, oh, okay, I did okay. mention that you guys would be on. Um, but this looks like it took a lot of time, what I can tell. Yeah, that would have been very impressive if it was during the last two hours. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> you saw yeah, this... slide. You'd be deeply impressed. With I mean, look at look, to make. look at how much is going on here. We've got yeah. everything you could want a as a gamer. Yeah. 
there are a lot of photos. I will say that. And I do think the way that he, I, I love the interplay of Eminem and Shrek's face on this, this basically this box art, I think would sell copies right off the bat. Yeah. They like belong together. Um, horse box and Josh. Mm. I think the top right insinuates Seth Rogen will be playing Eminem, but I don't see how that would work. That's a question. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, let me. Um, I'm also looking. If they're not here, then we will just. Is there some pizza? Just, I'll, we'll just look. We'll pitch it to ourselves. I'll, I'll pitch to ourselves. I'll start looking. Does anyone know if, if they're not here? Okay. All right. So we're gonna do a quick look through Shrek versus Eminem and sort of figure it out on our own. It's the first installment in Epic Trilogy starring Shrek and Eminem. One day, Shrek is just chilling at home when Eminem arrives in his swamp. Okay, that's a good start. Start sort of in medias rest here. His distaste for rap led to them becoming fast rivals. And the majority of the conflicts of Acts 1 and 2 will stem from this rivalry. Okay, I'm also noticing a picture of Hudat, of Dream, and of Drake. Can Shrek and Eminem put their differences aside to save Far, Far Away from it. Ed Sheeran? Featuring Shrek Extended Universe, Eminem, Ed Sheeran, Drake, Connor Reed's Pants, Jay-Z, Con you're in this game, Kanye West, Blackpink, Forehead, and Elton John. An epic clash of musical giants and fairy tale characters. Trilogy plan, Shrek vs. Eminem, Shrek and Eminem, and finally Shrek or Eminem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's, there's a triple threat here. Um, the first one is uh, a triple-A story-focused game, God of War, Last of Us 2 style. The second one, a GTA-style game where you can freely swap between playing as Shrek and Eminem. This looks pretty good. And the third one, the epic finale, uh, a two-player experience only similar to A Way Out or It Takes Two. Only one will live, <laughs> which is ominous. The business side of things, um, it will feature Seth Rogen as Eminem, so that question was answered. Okay, Seth okay, Rogen will sense. be playing Eminem. Good question, Charlotte. We, we kind of nailed that. It will feature, quote, every single character from the Shrek universe and many, many famous musicians. Now, you uh, have done some music of your own, Charlie. Is this something you'd be interested in? Is this like a... Yeah. You sort of see the gentlemen being involved in a Shrek vs. Eminem war. Well, it seems like we already are. Back on the previous slide, the 2019 guy music video was there, so I must have already signed the rights <laughs> yeah, away. Yeah, for, yeah, you might have been drunk or something. But yeah, you I must... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how it slipped my mind that I already signed on for the Shrek vs. Eminem project. I guess yeah. I did too. Yeah, you're also involved. You guys are actually both involved. So I just really need to – I also in here, I notice on the left next to Eminem. I, I would actually ask, pose this question. It's an important question. In the war between Shrek and Eminem, where do you guys sort of see yourself falling? Or is it sort of a, a Denmark, you know, Sweden, you're in the middle ground situation? I find it hard to root for Shrek in this narrative because it seems like Shrek was really the aggressor. He didn't like rap music to begin mm -hmm. with, so he kind of brought the conflict on himself, I would say. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I'm just going to disagree and go with Shrek. Cause <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he does seem to just arrive in a swamp and hate rap. Um, okay, well, in that case, to conclude, it's a winner. Uh, I got pictures of Hollow Knight, Among Us, Sheesh, and Two Guns, America, and Twitch. I would like to know if we want to throw any last-minute dollars at this idea. Shrek versus Eminem. Connor, I know you have a little bit left in your bank. Do you want to just give it all to uh, I'm just going to give it all to the Teddy Bear game yeah. instead. I, I was just about to say, this inspired me to want to give the money back to the I Patches Nightmare. I the same thing. I think all the remaining money is just going to go to what I think we have agreed is the unanimously best idea, and that is the Teddy Bear game. And so uh, that is the end of episode one of Twitch. Oh, I'm sorry. Stream Sharks. Stream Sharks is over. Teddy Bear Game will now get uh, the whopping part of $1,500, which is actually a ton of money from Discord. Shout out to Discord stages. Shout out to Connor and Charlie. Thank you both for being the inaugural judges of Stream Sharks. Any Thank last you. words or thoughts? I'm uh, just very impressed with your community's creativity. You've got some, I think you've got some great ideas in here. These, these game devs, I think, are going to make a killing even without our investment today. I think maybe some of us were a little too short-sighted to see the potential in a few mm. of them. So mm. I'm excited yeah. to be proven wrong in the future. Yep, for sure. Yeah, no, I think it was a great show. Big A, I think you did a great job. Um, and yeah, no, you did good. All right, well, please follow them both. All the future Miyamotos and future Cliff Blazinski's in our chat. Um, 
Remember, we'll be having a new episode in a month with two new guest judges that I will reveal over time. Thanks, Reese, Thanks no again to Charlie and Connor for being on the show. Thanks, guys, for your time, and I appreciate it. And uh, I will handle the payouts, so you have nothing to do. But uh, thanks for thanks for being on. Thanks for having me, man. All right, have a good one. Bye. 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 Adios. That was fun. I am All so right, chat. fucking Let's say some thirsty. Goodbyes. I'm going to reveal something to you. I am so thirsty. I'm going to go fill up this water finally and get my first little bit of liquid in the last couple hours. Give me just one second. And maybe do some old school RuneScape. I haven't decided between that and Battlefield yet, so we'll, we'll see. Just give me a minute. I'm back. <sighs> Thanks for resub Landon Walnut in the Prime Chewy Show. We'll do the Battlefield 5 beta. Get some reps in. Or, it's uh, Battlefield 2042, I meant. Battlefield, Battlefield needs another year in the oven. Yeah, no one's really talking about it. Is it not good? Thanks for some Scantron and Cranky. I haven't heard shit. The only reason I knew this was out is because chat kept asking me to play it. Or if I was going to play it. It's janky as hell and the gunplay is pretty bad. 
Thanks to Prime EJ. That's upsetting. Fire Cry 6 comes out in 40 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to play that tomorrow, probably. I really want to play some fucking RuneScape, but now fucking Far Cry and Battlefield beta. Plan on playing the new Metroid? Yeah, I'm gonna try it out. And just playing the Battlefield. Oh, I imagine he'd be playing it. He really likes Battlefield. Yeah, I was doing Group Iron Man all afternoon with the boys. Reddit recap today? When have I ever done that in my life? What, what the fuck was that? How are my drivers not up to date? What? Thanks to the resub swammy. My drivers are good enough for RuneScape. That is true. Are you addicted, Matt? You want to play more RuneScape already? I like that. That's what I like to fucking hear. What? I update, I update these bitches all the fucking time. How do I not have the latest drivers? Okay. I'd have to restart the stream to update them, don't I? Let me see. Hopefully not. Just play New World. Fuck that, man. I'm back on that RuneScape grind. I think I will actually try and go for Inferno Cape at some point. But I also want to do Group Iron Man. So I'm going to be focusing on Group Iron Man for now. I want that server to exist. Like, I hope they don't actually take the server down after three weeks. I would love to do some content on that server. Like, bring, like, stream in to do, like, tournaments or something. And then just kick you guys off after. Like, you grind on that special server for two weeks. Then fucking battle. Run, run like my own dead man mode. God, that'd be fucking fun. Hold on. I'm updating this. Send an email to the support Migzim. The poster should have been there before the comics. But yeah, just send an email and get it fixed. Audio in the VOD is fucked of what? Okay. Hold on, I'm updating my drivers. Uh, 
I better not have to restart my fucking computer. Because I'm not going to. If I have to restart, I'm just hopping on RuneScape. If you're around, Matt, we can hit some group Iron Man. More old school tomorrow. No, tomorrow I'm going to grind Far Cry 6 and try and complete that. See if I can bang that out in one stream. I'm not a huge Far Cry guy. Maybe this new, the new one will be good, but I have not been a fan of like the last three. Thanks to resub Cody Warrior. I imagine Far Cry 6 is the exact same shit again. Sponsored? No, I'm not sponsored to play it. I don't think I'm going to have any fun on Far Cry, but I'm going to for the sake of the moist meter, try and complete it. Thanks to the Prime, Rel still, and the Resub Titan. Oh, fuck, the new Super Monkey Ball came out too. God damn it. So much shit I want to play. What a good problem to have. Finally. It's about goddamn time. Thanks to the resub. Strunk and Prime. Sam Sneedle. 